Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And today we have a bunch of good ones for the 7800. Let's move this mic in a little bit closer. Uh, we have the exclusive world premiere of Muddy Vision's new game called 2048. It's a puzzle game. You've probably played it. Um, and we've also got an exclusive work in progress update for another block moving game but very different pengo uh where you're a penguin and you push things around oh. um and we're also going to be playing the brand new game robots rumble by I'm sorry uh, did it interrupt just yes uh, interrupt go ahead <laughs> right, right about penguins yep. i i've heard that penguins aren't always as uh um nice as they appear one <laughs> penguin and one other penguin oh monogamous <laughs> yes, they're not. They're not always as monogamous as they. Uh, yeah, birds are usually monogamous. You know, but penguins are penguins pretty monogamous, are... but apparently they do a little bit of not naughtiness. On the side. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, sorry, I interrupted. <laughs> I interrupted. It was that just for that. Could that have nonsense. been sorry. A fact we could have discussed. <laughs> we can still discuss it during the, during the game. Um, <laughs> we're gonna also gonna be playing Robots Rumble, a brand new game from Chunky Pixel Games, who is. M.K. Smith, Matt Smith, uh, and a bunch of other people, but we'll get into that. I want to thank all the Twitch subscribers gently scrolling beside Darcy. Uh, They're scrolling like this, well, not like this. Up. Actually, up. They're going up. Help them up. Up, up. Uh, Alan Lafer, Arena Foot, Arms Car Coder, Atari 800 XL Rules, Atari Age, BR Polka, Buck, Owens, Cafe Man 2D, Charles and Check, Charles Wheelam, Chive, Five, Dianoid, Dan, if you see Drex, all draw, Dr. Moog, Has, Great Offender, Ground Trooper, Johnny, WC, One, Your Rider, Carl G, Kev Kelly, Mark Spixink, Metal Atari, Make Muse, Mike Soul, Mike Littell, Miss Command, M. K. Smith, Mr. Zarno, Mr. Fix, Muddy Funster, Nathan Strom, Neo Media, Pack Rav, VG, Koog, RC70, Render, Ghost, Repentless, VG, Ricardo Pem, Six Sweet, Smitty B, Socrates, Spice, Where Esther Mares, The Lost Cartridge, Welchman, 89, Tiki Down, KT, Fo, Trek, MD, VHZC, X, Ken X, and Zeb Chi. When should I stop reading out those names? They're getting longer and longer. Uh, if you'd like to the support... The names are longer? <laughs> long names. Long list. Uh, if you want to support the show and get your name gently scrolling upwards beside Darcy, mm -hmm. you can. Just click subscribe. It's free if you have Amazon Prime because you can link it to Twitch Prime. And uh, yeah, it's free, 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 free. Um, or you can just follow us and get alerted when you can see us live on Twitch right now or watch later on YouTube if you're working. Uh, we have a ton of news, so I'll try and get through it fast. Uh, so we have some amazing shows coming up on Zero Page. Uh, you can check them out right here. Today's an amazing show, but the next show on Tuesday is yeah, subscribe for more Penguin Facts. That is correct. Penguin Facts coming up. Uh, on Tuesday, we have exclusive world premieres of some 8-bit games, as well as a live interview with Eric and Robert Anschwitz and John Weisgerber, so definitely tune in for that. They updated their old 80s games that they made in BASIC into assembly hmm. games. Uh, then we're going on break for a little bit, so I can oh. catch up and do paperwork and oh. real-life things, so I'm not panicking. Um, and, then, <laughs> and then we come back with... A mind-blowing episode. Uh, we are coming back with the exclusive world premiere of Attack of the Petsky Robots. We'll get more into that in a second. Plus, a double exclusive world premiere as well of two new games from M.K. Smith, Matt Smith, plus a live interview with M.K. Oh Smith goodness, at the that same time. Amazing. It's going to blow your mind, these games. He is... So bring a spare mind. Yeah, a spare mind. Yeah, bring two or three because yeah. you'll need to swap it out. It'll explode and you need to put the other one in. Make sure you make a duplicate of your mind first back, and not somebody back else's. Back up your personality for every sure night. before the show. Every night. Every night. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is 8 by going to be on the Petski stream? No. No, he's not. No. You could try. Uh, I, I could, you try, could, you could but, message uh, him and see. I could, I could try. I have met him. I met him at uh, PRG a couple of years ago and exchanged brief words with him. <laughs> I don't have things to say with other people um, very much <laughs> that are like YouTube. Like if I don't know them, it's like, uh, 
I'm just going to be a fan person and go, I, oh, I love saw your, your stream. show and I liked it enough I, to continue watching. I am amongst the millions that have seen <laughs> your show. <laughs> but yeah, maybe I, I could message him. Uh, we'll see. I'll think about that, whether it would be, you know, because we want to talk about the 7800 version. So it, why right? would he be? What is the connection? Uh, he is it. the originator of the attack of the Petsky robots. Ah. He's the original programmer. But we will get into that very shortly. Very, gotcha. very shortly in the show, in the news. Um, and then two episodes after that, we're going to release ZPH the game. And give away five copies of it. Oh my. And Darcy's going to be here. And we're going to sign them. Oh, hey, yeah. I'll sign my name it's to anything. It's going to be worth double. <laughs> you know, we'll <laughs> sign his name on the dotted line on anything you put in front of him. He's lost so much that way. <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah. And then the next episode after that, we're going to have the uh, Trilogy of Zark Stars. Zark Stars 1, 2, and 3, which includes the exclusive world premiere of Zark Stars 2 Ground Force, which has not been released yet. Zark Stars 1 just got released. Uh, we played Deep Space a while back, if you remember that one. It had that map on the screen yeah. with all the planets, and you can move up it, and you shoot things as you go. And it had like yes, a radar. Yes, I remember. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very, very cool. Um, and then a couple episodes after that, the Holiday Homebrew Special. So it's going to be crazy and insane in December and coming up. We're going to have a lot of huge shows. Um, so speaking of Attack of the Pet Ski Robots, uh, Mike99 McCarthy noticed on 8-Bit Guy's video yesterday that he released that he announced that Atari 7800 is getting a port by none other than our own Matt Smith, M.K. Smith, and Mike Sarna, Revenge. Um, and you can see, let me switch away for just a second while I get the next thing up, because it's on a different browser. I don't want to mess things up. Uh, yeah, but I can show that. So these are the systems that it's already been ported to or in progress of being ported to uh the commodore pet the c64 the vic 20 apple 2 and app um, atari 800 those are 100 percent done and <clears throat> released or about to be shipped um the other oh plus four and also c128 uh the other ones that are being worked on the mega nes x16 ios android switch snes well that's actually smaller uh, Coco 3, <laughs> BBC Micro, a tap, uh, Apple 2GS, and MS-DOS. So it's probably going to turn out to be the most widely ported homebrew game of all time uh, after it's done. And a lot of other people are actually approaching them to put it on even more platforms. Uh, and let's see... Alnifer says, is it, somebody said, oh yeah, uh, Vitoko said, I sent an email to David to try 5200 report. I never received a reply. There is a 5200 report in the works, Alnifer says. So they may, somebody already may be porting it off the Atari 800 that's already done. So that's maybe why. Uh, David isn't going to want multiple versions. So he's likely only allowed one program at a time. Give it a shot. So he probably the first person with a solid concept um, because he gives out the source code freely to people who ask for the source code so they can port it. Probably the first person back saying, hey, I've already started. And he's like, oh, that looks pretty good. He's like, you're the person. And kind of stops says, stops anybody else from wasting their time. Yeah, yeah. Which makes, makes a lot of sense. Um, and in the video, he announced two more platforms that are going to be ported so i'm gonna play just that little snippet it should be queued up um now i'll unblock the desktop audio this may blast years off but i'm gonna turn it down at first turn that up okay here we go okay let's have a look at the atari 7800 version um this is being done by two guys matthew and mike don't worry too much about how this looks at the moment. I there you go. Revenge and MK Smith. <laughs> uh, 
Um, after all, uh, the Amiga version looked very much like this in its early days of development, and clearly it looks a lot better now. But uh, at least they have it to a point where it is playable, and that alone is quite an accomplishment. So um, we'll come back and revisit this in the future. So that's the mention that he gives it. Um, and then before that, here are the platforms that it's already for sale. on. Um, so Commodore, Commodore 128, um, and then... What's a Commodore Plus 4? Commodore, that's, uh, I'm not very familiar with that one, so I can't really tell you what it is. It is Commodore. Um, I think it came with 16 megs originally, or 64, and you can upgrade it. I'm not sure. But then NES, SNES, and it was just announced in this video, Sega Genesis and Atari 7800, which I just showed you the clips on. But that's just the beginning of the 7800. That's just like the straight port over without upgrading the graphics. And then he's going to go on and, and upgrade the graphics some more. Um, so, uh, you know, stay tuned for that. Uh, more announcements as they come. And so we're going to have the exclusive world premiere of that game uh, when we interview MK Smith on December 3rd. Awesome stuff. Um, so Al has been very busy, uh, Al Yoruso, in the, uh, everywhere, promoting all the games that are coming out very soon for, uh, 2600 and 7800 game, games. So he posted this an hour ago, uh, Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days for the 7800. There you go. Beautiful. Yeah, that beautiful cover. Really great. Yeah. VHZC uh, does everything start to finish in his games. He makes the games, he does the oh, graphics, wow, he does that's... the sound, and he does the packaging for himself, too. Nice. He is incredible. Night Guy in Low Res World Castle Days is coming to the Atari Age store soon. Here's a render of the box to tide you over until that happens. So I am looking forward to that. That is an amazing platformer game. Uh, another one Dog on It. For those who weren't able to purchase a copy of Dog Gone It when it was available previously, we'll be adding it to the Atari Age Store soon. Here's a render of the box, updated slightly. Click for a larger view. Um, so uh, he originally did a very limited run of this. Might have been like 25 copies um, for people that beta tested, people that helped out with the game. And now it's going to be a wide release. And you can see my name on the back. Oh, and Tanya's go. name on the back. Oh, for some uh, uh, reviews. Oh, short reviews of the game, and it is a very good game. And Nathan Strong, and Roger Blair, um, and also Unholy, as well, which with incredible artwork done by VHZC. Did you say uncredible? Uncredible for unholy. <laughs> <laughs> uncredible artwork. Here's a render of the box for unholy. You can click. The above image for a larger view. Yeah, this is uh, a beautiful, beautiful artwork. Uh, I I told Al uh, he should make that into a poster because it's yeah, it's pretty I, awesome. I bet some people would really like this. And he does include posters in some of the games. He didn't say whether or not a poster would be in this one, but I think this one would be a prime candidate for one. Yeah, it's pretty great. Um, <clears throat> so that one is a lot of fun. Uh, so what else, what else? <clears throat> oh yeah. And also somebody asked him, when are these uh, specifically about unholy? And they asked him in the, in Facebook, Darren Braun said, any, ah, any idea when it will be available? And Albert said, uh, after I send everything to the printers, not before, <laughs> Uh, try and get everything done within the next two or three weeks. So this is kind of the Christmas release of games. Um, does it include Holy Water? That's a good, that's a good one to include. That, that would be very funny. Um, I don't think it does, but maybe you never know. Maybe if you get a high score, that'll be your bonus. You'll get some Holy Water. Uh, in the forums, I thought this was an interesting post. Uh, let me make it a tiny bit bigger. Carl G. posted about a DB9 keyboard. Now, there are there is there was an official keyboard made for the 2600. Um, there are also little keypad things with like 12 um, 
buttons on them. Uh. But he's talking about a full keyboard. He right, was right. wondering yeah, if yeah. anybody. He says, "I'm not much of a hardware guy, but I was wondering if it would be feasible to make a full keyboard that could work as a DB9 controller. So you plug it into a normal port." An Atari joystick has four directions and one fire button. Combining these five possibilities would give 31 possible combinations, which would cover all the letters, space, a couple punctuation marks, perhaps one key for a shift lock to access numbers and other characters. Does such a beast exist for any system that used these connectors? Or has anybody made a homebrew keyboard controller like this? Or is there a technical reason why this method wouldn't be feasible? Um, and then Gemini, Gemin, Gemintronic, I always say Gemini, but there's actually no I there. Gemintronic, probably going to have to jury rig a PS2 keyboard, Arduino, Ortensi, and the DB9 end of a sacrificial Genesis joystick, plus write your own code to translate what keyboard codes a microcontroller sees and the 2600 joystick port can handle. Um, and this person showed a variety of joystick combinations that gets wired and, and I, a lot of stuff going on here um but he added to that and but i thought of a different way rather than combining like directions and combinations of directions i went for more of the morse code style um, so I said, if you're involving a Raspberry Pi or equivalent, you can have the keyboard send an output sequence for each key press. This way you can have as many keys on the keyboard as you like, plus shift, control, all function keys, and the program on the console would know what key or key combo corresponds to that sequence. So the letter A could be left, 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 and B. And B is like the terminating yeah, yeah. character. So it's yep. like, I know Always that's the B. end of your sequence. Yeah, yeah. Letter B could be left, 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 up. Letter C could be left, 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 right. You don't even need to do the up, right, down. You could just do a huge string of L's if yeah. you wanted. Um, but you get more, you get less, you don't need to send as long of a string yeah. if you use yeah. different combinations. Um, and then button B at the end of the sequence tells the receiving program they've encountered the end of the sequence and the new letter is coming next. Uh, the C string could be extended to any accommodate as many keys or key combos as you want. Uh, <laughs> ZPH reinventing serial pro protocols. Yeah, I know. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> not inventing anything. This is just a way that you are unlimited because people were talking about. Oh, you just you only can get 31 out of these combos. It's like no, nah, you can get infinite keys. Yeah, yeah. Um, and this could be, I thought this could be incredible for the 2600 plus cart because they have a chat built yeah, into yeah. the plus cart or RPGs. Yeah. So you can type or, uh, text adventures. So you could, because I believe those old text adventures, they've released the source code. So if you could port that source code over the 2600, you could play Zork on the 2600 because there's been lots of text implementations for the 2600, including the plus cart. You could um, you could do it with your computer too, so that you you have a USB say that plugs you or something could. that plugs in. But the point being that everybody has a computer, yeah. And then all you would need is uh, ah. an interface cable. Um, well, and the computer could send the signals. Even even easier. A Raspberry Pi, but a, that's not as a, good because then you need a computer. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 Raspberry Pi. 10 bucks, whatever level of Raspberry Pi. Yeah, Raspberry Pi. Pi is a computer. So. And a, <laughs> yeah, it's a mini yeah, computer yeah. that's super cheap. Yeah. And a USB keyboard. And everybody, any keyboard they want. Yeah. yeah. So they're really yeah. just getting the Raspberry Pi. Yeah, and Raspberry a, Pi and a program. And that's it. And some yeah, wiring yeah. at the other end that goes to a female DB9 so that you can plug it into a 2600 or a 7800. <laughs> I didn't realize my question would be featured. <laughs> would this be for penalty? It could be for anything. I mean, he is making panel, but he's already made it so it's all joystick interface. And it works very fast. Or a MUD client. Yes. Um, through the Plus Cart, which has internet access. So mm -hmm. you could have a multiplayer dungeon <laughs> on the 2600. <laughs> oh my God, that would be amazing. <laughs> to play real time on the stream against other people playing That'd online. That would be awesome. My idea was an interactive basic for the 7800. Yeah, yeah, you could do that too. Programming languages. Um, so you could program in real time on the 7800 and then switch over and run your game and then switch back to the programming. 
you could probably a better environment would be the computer but it would be a very cool thing yeah computerize the 7800 you could make a, a gui and uh, have a file system and uh run minesweeper <laughs> um so that's that's my idea of it and i think somebody could bang that out in a weekend because you just need a raspberry pi a usb keyboard and just wires coming out of the raspberry pi because it yeah, already yeah. has an io um header on the board and you yep. just wire it off of that yeah and it goes right into your 2600 or 7800 and it just goes yep that's that's being pressed that's being pressed that's an a put it on the screen anyway so if anybody wants to uh contribute to the thread it's on the atari age forums to get that going because i think that is an amazing project to be able to hook up a keyboard to our atari systems i mean the 8-bit already has a keyboard so you don't need a keyboard for that um but the 2600 and 7800 or even 5200 yeah, as well yeah. which doesn't have a keyboard either uh, yeah that'd be awesome yeah um it'd be especially cool with the 2600 yeah because Stunics. like for instance the the, the um, having a keyboard and and text on those other systems is more is is it's more less expected. Su- is less surprising yeah, yeah. A, a full yeah. featured modern keyboard on a 2600 would be newsworthy That'd right cool. like yeah, it's yeah. super super cool um another project i thought was cool nobody has responded to this i mean like it um <laughs> uh somebody came up with this kind of cool interactive story based thing surrounding the 2600 games called atari quest uh melvin missile said i've been working on a project i call atari quest it's a story that connects together various atari 2600 games each chapter sets up a situation and ends with an atari 2600 challenge i'm sharing it in the form of a blog with each chapter as a new post as soon as somebody posts a video of themselves beating a challenge i put up the next chapter people who post videos will get points for each video they post will be tracked on a leaderboard it's something i have fun thinking about thought uh that people might like trying to play it um and it was posted a couple days ago two days ago but nobody's responded to it maybe nobody's seen it uh but this is his first episode here and it's like oh you know you're walking you go to your yard sale you find an atari 2600 and a couple games and then um you go to chapter one you bring it home you turn it on and zap you're kind of transported into the real world version of the game you turned on which is fishing derby (laughs) and and he tells the story and involves you kind of makes the game real world kind of like those old atari manuals where they really go over the top and and explain a story yeah yeah so for this one he like goes on and on and it's quite it's quite a quite an involved story here but at the end he says put fishing derby cartridge into your atari 2600 turn it on set both difficulty switches to b use a left joystick and play until you catch more fish than the fisherman post a link to the video in the comment section of yourself completing the challenge so it's like the activision patch right challenges except i think he's going to go for not just activision games but any games and then each uh episode or chapter of the story involves a different game that you get transported to something like that i think yeah, it's yeah. i think it's really kind of a cool little concept um so you know people check it out give him some encouragement or uh you know do a video of the game that he is talking about so there you go um what else uh yeah i got this in the mail i'll make myself big a cardboard big, box like a what yeah now if you've listened to the interviews on the show, the audio has been dodgy oh. <laughs> and crackly. Oh. You can hear it, but it's not been great. And I finally figured out why the other day. Um, I When I do interviews, I have three video capture cards going. Right. One for the camera, one for the video games, which we do all the time. Yeah. That's, that's normal. That's what we're doing right now. 
Um, then when I do the interviews, I have another capture card, which is this, this tiny little one. It's a 4K one. I don't use it in 4K. But it plugs into the laptop and takes the video of the interview person, you know, over, over the video conference. And it plugs into my computer. It's always been like, it crashes things and it's dodgy and I barely get it working all the time. I'm like, what is my computer <laughs> overloaded or what the hell's going on? Um, but I found out why. The I have, one of them is USB 2 which is going to the video camera. Right. The other is USB 3, which is capturing the video games. This is a USB 3 as well. Apparently, you cannot hook up these two USB 3 devices to the same USB 3 root hub on the computer. Uh. Or they go, eh, 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 which they do huh. every single time. And I checked my computer, and it has a total of one USB 3 hub in it. I have another USB 3.1 hub as well, but it's I'm using it for my um, RAID, and I, I I tried it the other day on that, and it and it just kills one or the other, it kills the RAID or right, kills right. the capture, and I you know save these locally. You have mail still yet to be delivered today as well. That's true. Um, yeah, that would have been cool if it arrived earlier. Oh, tell me when it arrives and I can jump out and go get it and we can show it off on the show. Anyway, uh, so I can't plug it in my second one. So what I got is a USB 3 card that I can put, add to the computer. There you go. And it's got five unnecessarily. I just got it. I don't need five of them. And is this, they all share. so this is one hub though? Yes. So this will be one hub. Yeah, yeah. So I can plug. It's too bad that. It, you couldn't get one card with like multiple hubs, multiple yes. hubs for that solving would this be problem, good but i don't add more things i don't need another one so <laughs> so this will be you know not like this i'll have an extension cable but it'll it'll plug into this and then i will have flawless supposedly um, you'll have interviews you'll have audio with one less flaw yes so hopefully presumably that will solve the problem and from all my research it will so we'll have proper. Also, it's cool interviews. that you get to put an expansion card into your PC. Something that I just haven't had an excuse to do for a long time. People, Apart from the video card, people don't normally need to do that. Yeah, yeah. You know, you have video card, and that's it. That's the biggest expansion most people do. Yeah. So that's all the news. I try to get through it as quickly as possible. And Some now, people don't even do that. <laughs> do what? The video, video card? card? Yeah. yeah. Well, if they don't play games, they don't need to really. Um, okay, I think we're ready for coffee and nuts. And the world premiere of Muddy Funster's new game, 2048, on the 7800. Woo! We are exciting. News within a half hour. Ooh, we did 28 minutes just under the wire. Ooh. Um, okay. So, oh. And that included, um... Uh, me interrupting you for nonsense at least once. <laughs> at least one bit of nonsense going on there. Okay. I think we are ready for 2048. I bought it 3.0 3 hub some months ago, but it didn't work with my external drives. I mounted it, and it was fake. Fake. Holy yeah, fake, fake. Fake. Fake's bad. It's possible. They make junk out there, and they sell it. This one was one of the more expensive ones. So hopefully it's good. And it was a name that I knew. Still could be fake. You never know. It's a fub. <laughs> <laughs> a fake hub. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. Are you ready? Uh, I was born on a green light, daddy. Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, 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 I don't think we encountered any sound yet. There we go. I'm unmuted it. No, no sound yet. Okay, a Muddy Vision reproduction. That's what he's calling them, not ports. Um, which is a cool name. Also, a more accurate. Reproduction, yeah. You're reproducing an experience yeah. from another platform. No, I mean, really, like a port. Doesn't a port involve, like, 
li literally transferring the data from one to another or like substantial portions of the data from one to another? Yeah, there's a lot of terms and I did a, I did a, um, there's many, many terms for different types because yeah, a port would be like, well, we'll get on with this and, uh, <laughs> and then we'll discuss more about ports. Is uh, there another timer that's on? Are you trying to get through the first game before X we have a amount of time? We have some big games to play. <laughs> Are we going to have comments later? Is one not going to say, oh, you got through the first game in 16 minutes. <laughs> and you're going to be like, whoo, finally, we got through the first game in 16 minutes. And I'm like, oh, I did not run. know about these speed timers. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Speed run. Okay. Click. Click button. Uh, 2048. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> we don't have to do a speed run. Instructions played one. The objective of the game is simple. Create a 2048 tile. Use a controller to slide the board up, down, left, and right. Combine tiles to create bigger tiles. Combine two and two to make four. Actually, before we start, we'll get through the instructions, but then we're going to take a look at where this game came from. Um, combine tiles to create bigger tiles. Combine two and two to make four. Four and four to make eight, and so on. Button. The game ends when you reach 2048 tile or... Crawl. No. Uh, spam. Or the board is full and you have no more viable moves available. Points scored equals the value of each combination made. E.g. combining 4 and 4 scores 8. Good luck. 2048, Atari 7800 edition. Code and graphics. Lewis Hill. Original 2048, Gabrielle Cerulli. Testing and feedback. Stephen Ramirez, Robert Tuchito. Did I get it right? And James O'Brien. Oh, that's me. Uh, this is release candidate 1A, November 12th. It is fresh, fresh today. Not nah, none of that. Press button. Okay, so don't start it. Uh, we're going to take a look at the original one first. Let's take a look at that. Boom. I like how you're adding instruction to recent games. I think that's awesome to have the instructions built in because 7800 is possible. Does the 7800 have graphics for text built in? Do you have to make all of these? Thank you very much, Daryl, 1970. Thank you for subscribing. You're awesome. Um, okay. Does that mean you're from 1970 or there are 1970 people before you? Or is he, it just a random number? He was frozen in time <laughs> by the military in 1970 like Buck Rogers. But he that's, thawed that's, in time for now. My next book is that, only it's 1998. When they emerge or when they got frozen? When they were frozen. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, cool. Cool. Anyways. Enough to know computers and the internet maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, okay. So this is uh, the original game that uh, this one was based off of. I think I need to mute that. So there you see two, two, four, eight. Boom, boom, boom. Scores going up. So this um, 2048 is a single player sliding tile puzzle video game written by Italian web developer Gabrielle Cirulli and published on GitHub. The objective of the game is to slide the number of tiles to, on the grid to combine them to create a tile with the number 2048. However, one can continue to play the game after reaching the goal, creating tiles with larger numbers. I believe the 7800 version only goes to 2048, though. doesn't keep you going. Uh, originally written in JavaScript and CSS over mm. a weekend and released on 9th of March 2014 as a free and open source software subject to the MIT license. Versions for iOS and Android followed in May 2014. Um, so, there you go. Fairly simple. And since it was open source, probably has been ported to everything in the world. <laughs> and now it has come to the 7800. So let's uh, go back to the 7800 version now that we have seen the glorious original version. Oh, and Mike Soul says he has made one. He made one for the twenty six hundred. Um, did we have we played that on the show? I can't remember. Uh, okay, go for it. Start your engines. Yep. <laughs> oh, okay. Before the show, 
Um, oh, it doesn't work, Thrust. I only got 24 and it didn't oh, work. Oh, he's stuck. Um, <laughs> Thomas Yanch said, I just point to the right and down and I get a pretty good score. But he, Darcy just did that and it, it stopped and got stuck. Um, so from Lewis, a bit of a background summary, saving you digging up from the other thread. I wanted to see if I could figure out how to make an easy puzzle type game like 2048 as I've never tried like anything like that before. I started this last Friday afternoon after finishing a demo build of Keystone Capers. Just really something to do different, uh, do something different that wasn't an existing project. This was more of an experiment uh, or programming challenge just to do something different for a few hours. Really, something that wasn't Keystone or EXO Atari Vox voices. I don't know what's happening, I gotta say. Why like, is the top the... half of the score cut off? No, no, we're all good. Reboot. <laughs> How do I know which one moves? Uh, and why do they keep reshuffling? They won't. So right now, you can't do anything to the right because there's no combinations you can do to the right. Uh -huh. Nothing you can do up because well, there's, there's two no that can go down. But you can either go down and yeah. it would put all four of those down at the bottom that are on oh, the left. Okay. Or you could go left and it would push all those to the right. So it kind of slides. The, it's like, imagine if it was a physical puzzle. And you slide them all. And you'd slide them all the other way. And okay. ones that are the same combined together. I get it. Um, things to get, totes get it. came together quite quickly. Sunday evening, Monday. And it didn't take much time to throw something better functional graphics together and polish it up a bit uh, as a game. That's when I sent it to you for a test run. From there, it needed a few tweaks and a bit of polish. It's intentionally minimalistic. Simple graphics. No sound. No music. It plays to understand. Uh, it it pays. It plays to standard twenty forty eight rules and doesn't allow greedy moves. No mega stacking in one turn. Supports Atari Vox for score saving and the binary works in both PAL and NTSC. Um, and S Ramirez was on the uh, beta testing team, and his top score is twelve thousand two hundred eighty. And he made it to the 1024 tile. Uh, and I think that was today or yesterday he made it. I think it was today. Um, so you have a ways to go. You're almost at the 1,000. <laughs> but the scores increase as time goes on because the numbers increase. Yeah, Muddy Funster, sa Muddy Funster says you press a direction, everything goes in that direction. Yeah, that's, that's, a that's very the part I didn't get. Simple get explanation now. for that. Yeah. Yeah, you're moving the entire board, not individual blocks. Because other games, like games where you're trying to get a piece out, you're kind of moving individual blocks like that. But this one, it's like the whole board. Oh, 16s, 32. Nice. How do you know which block you're moving? Yeah, uh, just needs a sliding animation. So, uh, Muddy Funster thought about the sliding animation, but I think he is decided against that oh by the way the developer is in the chat if you'd like to ask him any questions he is muddy funster about this game um but i believe he has opted not to do the sliding but he uh recently added in the blink for the new tile before it was just it was just the tile appeared so i think the blink is really nice and nice and speedy oh Nope. Oh, you missed your opportunity to combine the 128s. Oh, but you can go right. Go right. There you go. Because you want to keep the board as clean as possible so that you don't get stuck. That's what I find anyway. Sliding only the merged numbers would do. Hmm. So it's... It's a super fun game and has been around for a while. And I know people play this a lot on their phones because you just need to go flick, 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 up, down, left, right. And there's no choosing a tile and then moving that tile and choosing another one. It's uh, really, really simplistic controls, which is probably why it's done so well on many platforms. It's just a one of those games that's easy to understand but hard to master because after a while as it builds up you have to like keep 
a certain number of tiles on the board. Because every number you go up, that inc that leaves less room for tiles. Because right now you have 256. And eventually you'll have a 128. And then eventually you have a 64 as well. Then a 32 and a 16 and an 8. And a 4 and a 2. And you'll have to have all of those at some point. Well, maybe not all of those. But they build up. So you want to combine like the 64s there before they get away as yeah. soon as possible. Yeah. Um, so they don't build up a lot. Uh, if there are three blocks in the same value in the row, which of them are combined? Oh, does it depend on the moving direction? Does it matter which ones are combined? Because all you're left with are two of them. Oh, it does matter. Because one, say you have two eight, three eights, it depends which one is going to be the 16. Is it going to be the one at the end or the one at the beginning? Hmm. Yeah, it does matter. So, which one is it, Mighty Funster? Let's find out. Let's see if we encounter that. Then we'll, we'll know. Oh, there's two fours. It's not too often you get them because you usually combine them pretty quick. Mike Soul says, yes, I first got hooked on it on my phone. No, we did play. Let me check. I'm sure we played this. Yeah, I'm very certain we played this on the show. For the um, Atari 2600 version. If you move up, the top two get merged. Okay. So the ones at the end get merged. So the, yeah. Now it doesn't matter where the space is. Like if it's a two at the top and then a space and then two twos. Is it always the top twos that get merged or is the twos that are together as opposed to a two, a two, a space and a two? Hmm. Uh oh yeah there's a two that's going to appear in that bot top right corner or well the bottom corner oh if you yeah yeah so you have to kind of plan where can i get a four to an eight to a 16 to start combining them oh boy oh no now it's trouble oh 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 no oh what did you get 3200 what was your top you've got a 256 or a 128. I had at least a 256. Anyway, okay. so. Oh, I don't have the Atari Vox plugged in. Boo. What should I put? DTP. Right. Sure. Down to pound. <laughs> <laughs> Found that very funny. <laughs> <laughs> yep. You are very amused by that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two, four. Let's try and get this three in a row going here. I don't think I can. There's three. Well, this doesn't tell us anything because we don't know which ones. What should I go, up or down? He says it's the direction of travel to the compression. That's confusing. Direction of travel to the compression. So I've got three twos in a row. Should I go up or down? What do you think? Uh, you should go that way and then up. Okay. And then up? Actually. So it's four. You should have gone so that the way then and then. Yeah, anyways, no, I don't know. Here we go. Oh, what will happen here on the left? Four. If you go down? If I go down. You'll get a four and an eight. Four on the top, eight on the bottom, because the twos will combine. Then the four will combine with the twos, four. I would, I would think you have an eight on top and a four on the bottom. If that's not what happens, then that will be information. <laughs> okay, let's go down. Oh, no, it was the eight on top, so it combined the said. fours. It combined the fours. So it did the twos and, at and once. And that's what Muddy Funster said would happen. Yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, there's another. <gasps> Here we go again. Look he at this. He said what you were talking about would be a greedy move. <laughs> oh, okay. Right. So it doesn't double combine. No. Okay. So I've got a four, two, two, two. So if I go left, will there be an eight on the left? Or will there be two fours on the left? 
uh, there will be, I think, a four, a two, and a four. If I go left? If you go, if you go left. No. Oh, so, two fours. So it doesn't double combine. No, that's what he's saying. There's no yeah. greedy moves. No greedy move. No. No, no that's moves. a greedy move. It only does one thing. It only adds one thing one at a thing. time. There's okay. no combos, no combos. In that way. Yeah. Okay. But it, it does, it's like, I, I misunderstood. I still hadn't figured out what he meant by the 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 direction of motion. Yeah. Um, but I get it now. It's the one closest to the side that you're going to be at. The ones that meet first, I guess. Hi, cat. Hi. Hi. No, that's not the right way to look at it but anyway that's how it works <laughs> but it is helpful to know that because then you can plan future moves so that you don't get them stuck like now i know which direction things go super helpful now i don't think i'm gonna beat s Ramirez's score what was that nobody Ramirez's can score? Twelve thousand. ah yeah, it's near. It's very hard to do. <laughs> He's a very good player. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so when he says no greedy scores, he means two tiles combined. There's no combos where two tiles combo, combine combo, and then combo. another one combine. They don't... Yeah. Smack. You have to make a, another move, like... Yeah. If you get two fours and an eight, then you get two eights, and then you have to combine the two eights. Yeah. yeah. Which is completely Which is how fine. it should work. Yeah. Rather than... Cause well, I mean, it could work, work any way it. that you make it work, but yeah. it would be a lot easier if it combined things. And if that's the way it works in the original game, you probably want to stick to, you know, that. So that people playing it are like, this is different yeah, than yeah. the other versions that I'm so used boo, to. Boo, hiss, boo. You don't want to, wah, any, wah, you don't want to hear any boos and hisses. Cry babies. Well, I mean, it's it's always tricky to call people cry babies when <laughs> they're complaining about the thing that they wanted and that you didn't get it. Because yeah, no doubt that we two do more of that type <laughs> of complaining than the average human. True. <laughs> this isn't right. I, I told Tanya that we we're going to play this game on the show and she was visibly disappointed that it wasn't her day. Because <laughs> she loves puzzle games. Yeah, no, I like this game. Uh, I don't... I haven't played it enough to know how, uh, how much luck I'd have with it. But I mean, I did start off pretty good for you first. <laughs> you did. <laughs> Which could have presented I don't know, a problem. I don't know that it made my that it put me in a bad position or anything. It just no. reached a point where it wasn't doing no, anything. Did, uh, I reached a spot where it stopped. A very valid. I don't know why. It first... wouldn't have stopped. I just misunderstood what was happening. I think <laughs> when I said that, when I said that, write down, write down wouldn't work. Yeah. Ah. It probably would have. I just gave up on it. Oh, there we go. Oh, there's down. two sixty fours. Uh, need to get them together. Come on. 64s. How am I going to get you guys together? Uh oh. Uh, running out. Oh! Down again. There oh, you go. yes. Down again. Oh, yes. Good, 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 good. Uh oh. Bad again. I think the thing that got me going, kept me going, was just making combos whenever I can make a combo. Well, and not. It clears the board. Yeah. Which is exactly that's what the you thing. want to do. Yeah. It's like not trying to make moves to get pieces together, but allowing them to get together when they get together. Come on, everybody, get it together. Um, there we go. 32s. Let's go left so I can get those 8s. Get down. Uh, no, I'm going to go up because there's a 16 up there, and then I can do that. 
How's our chat? Any good observations happening? <laughs> no. Ooh, 64s. Come on, down. Yeah, I don't think... I don't... Oh, God. I don't think... I haven't noticed anything that needs changing, Mighty Funster. I don't... There we go. 64, 128. There you go. Nice. I gotta get those... Damn it. No! No! I tried to shift them over, but they're keep oh, there you go. not cooperating. Okay. Oh god. Four, four, eight, sixteen. Four. Ooh, getting the two fifty six is closer. Oh god. Uh zero compass. <laughs> Oh, oh, sixteen. Not quite. Oh, yeah. Uh, get that two fifty six together. Come on, down. No, oh, you had a chance there, but you. Oh, I can there. There you go. Boom. Five twelve. There we go. Thirty twos. You're, it's kind of you have to start positioning things as you put things together as well when you get higher up it seemed like the example game didn't move things this way like that's <laughs> the th thing that threw me it seemed like oh. everything stayed in the bottom corner the struggles are real like when you showed the video <laughs> yeah i don't remember the blocks moving all over the screen maybe i Maybe I just wasn't paying attention. Well, like, you, that's why I was confused. I was like, what is happening? Oh, were, <laughs> I thought were, one block was going to move at a time. But were you this familiar is... with the game before? No. So, you, I mean, it was your first time seeing yeah. any, any of it. So you, you're like, what's happening? 1632, eights. I don't know how easy this is to follow watching. Is it? Does it make sense? Like, oh, you moved there. I guess so, because everything shifts to the right when everything or left shifts, or down. Yeah, understanding that everything is moving made it very clear, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. 4, 8, 8, 16. 4, 4, 8, 16. 32s. Ooh. Some 16s. Let's get that. missed one no it's if we'd gone a different direction you could have combined the 16s but maybe oh. there was a consequence i don't know maybe oh god uh up left left down uh, uh some twos twos fours eights sixteens thirty twos uh twos oh god that's a further away. Mike Saul says, if you don't want to see stuff up at the top, try not to slide up much. Mostly slide left, right, and down. Ah! Uh, be super careful not to allow your big block to slide up unless you really need to. Hmm. Interesting. Isn't it all relative? <laughs> like, right could be up, up could be left, up could be down. Like, it's all, like, it doesn't matter. Like, you could shift the whole thing. Five six zero oh, eight. I'm I'm pretty happy with that five, score. Six, oh, you just added five six zero four. Oh, four. Yeah, nice try, buddy. Five six zero oh, eight. Nice try <laughs> adding your score. I don't know what you thought you were gonna get out of four points. But. <laughs> I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, super fun game. Um, Muddy Funster, I believe, is going to be releasing this after the show at some point. He can update us on that. Try to keep the biggest number in one corner. And the next bigger number closest to it. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. So you can try and keep your big block in any corner you want. I mostly keep them on the bottom. Okay, that's a good strategy. So keeping all your big ones in the corner and 
so that they're together and then your small one you work on the outside edge because if you do that the new ones always appear in the spaces so mm -hmm. if you keep all your spaces together like just yeah. quickly yeah yeah it makes sense then all your twos are showing up in the same spot like this like keeping ah like boom like look that's at why that. the, that's why the that's ah. why the example that's why i was so confused because in the example the big number was always in the bottom corner and so ah. i just didn't get that 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 wasn't natural <laughs> see look at this wow yeah and then you kind of go up and down oh my god it's yeah. so much easier yeah and you have to move every once in a while four eight four eight that's why saying go back and forth and down is the, that's the why primer. thomas yench was going yeah yeah you just go right and down right and down right and down <laughs> I mean, this is the basics. I'm probably like, once in a while you have to go up a bit. There, yeah. Oh my God. Look at this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was sitting there looking at it and going, you know, to get to 2480, so getting to 2048. Then every once in a while I have to go. You up. would really have to like have a plan. Like you'd have, <laughs> like you can't just do what I was doing, which was just like playing it, at, you know, by the scruff on my neck <laughs> yeah yeah this uh this works really 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 well <laughs> i'm actually gonna play this because this is probably gonna be fairly quickly good or over right um They only appear. Ah, there's a, the two fifty six is out of the corner. Ah. Oh, there we go. But I've kind of messed it up now. Damn it! How do I get that two out of the corner now? Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I think that two's in the corner forever. <laughs> <laughs> it's trapped it's trapped oh oh i could have and now you oh, have and it uh, if it doesn't appear there i can get yeah. it out of there I get out of there so it appears on the side that you move from is there a pattern to is it it's not random where it appears yeah because if you keep going in the same direction it doesn't just fill up the the side like go right 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 Right, like, right, right, right. See, yeah. it's not adding them every time you go right. No, you have to complete something. You have to do something for it to um, fill it in. But why would the game okay. end fill up then? Because you always have to make a move to to. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. You don't have to complete something though. You just have don't to have move. To, yeah, you have yeah, to. Yeah. yeah, complete or move. Yeah. yeah, that's what I was saying though. Like you. you got some bigger numbers now in the, in the bottom corner i'm i'm happier it's not it's not great though because they're all kind of stuck but the thing is you can go up right now and you don't hurt anything true and now you can go down ah up Ah, two. Oh, I can do that. Ah, oh, oh, oh. Fixing it, kind of. Ah, they always fill in there.
Two. Ah, it's over. It's over. It's over. But look how fast I got up to 5,000 doing that strategy. So it's something, something like that. I'd have to watch some videos. I think I need to play it to get hands on. Why does the 256, 128, 32 stay in the same place if the entire board is moving? Uh, because he was moving it such that he didn't move. Like there was either four in a row. Yeah, he, like, he was moving only until he didn't and yeah. screwed it up. No pokey music track. No, no music, <laughs> no sound effects. He was moving in a way that wouldn't move those ones. That was the key. So super awesome game. Very good representation of that original puzzle game. Um, looks good, plays super fast. Um, you can see what's going on. I think he's he's pretty much declared it done at yeah, this yeah. point. Yeah, yeah. I didn't see anything that would contradict that. Like it. Yeah. I don't see what it needs. Yeah. So. Uh, but I don't know enough about the game. I don't know if he posted when he's going to put it out there. I've been watching, and neither is Dars. Um, <laughs> so next up we have a game from Daryl 1970 who is in the chat I think we might have every single um, developer in the chat today which is awesome uh, we have uh, Pengo which is made by Daryl Genther uh, Paul Lay and Pat Brady who the latter two made the music and music engine and I got this version 15 minutes before the show. <laughs> so <laughs> it's fresh. It's real fresh. So let me load it up. This is the right one. Oh, and the other game is uh, uh, couch compatible. <laughs> I'll explain that to you in a second. Oh, you don't have to get up and press any... Yes, oh. and I'm going to declare this one couch compatible too. Um, wait a second, there we go. Oh, I have to switch the cartridges. Boom. And Atari 7800. There we go. Penguins! Have you played Atari today? I have. Almost every single day. Special thanks. Revenge. Debugging and 7800. Basic place off. Pokey Engine. Popcorn. Debugging. Pap Ready. Tab. Oh, I was on that list at the bottom, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> I just I couldn't make it to the end. <laughs> um, yeah, I have this. This I this was a joke at first, right? When I was getting... Not this game. Um, the couch compatible thing. Mm. Remember when I yep. always complained when I had to get up and reset the game? Yep. And I would go, ugh. And somebody, somebody came up with the, the saying couch compatible. This isn't couch compatible. <laughs> you have to get up. And then uh, a show or two ago, somebody actually worked. I did the whole run through. You can look it in the forms. Somebody started working on like a graphic for couch compatible. You know how they put it on um, boxes, on games, all the different things. Like, oh, you need a paddle to play this game. Yeah, yeah, Somebody yeah. worked on a couch compatible <laughs> logo and I like put it on the games now. So if you can see here, I put it on the couch, couch compatible on the little corner. It's just for fun. Uh, people can use it if they want. Um, I've made it a CC. Somebody said it might be confused with the uh, um, copyright, um, Creative Commons copyright uh, symbol, but it's very different as a couch. Creative Commons does not have a couch. <laughs> okay. Oh. Penta. This is the new thing. It has been possibly renamed from Pango to Penta. Ah. Because of reasons that we don't need to go into. Well, because that we all can guess at. We can guess at why it's been renamed. <laughs> so Sofa <far>. friendly. <laughs> no, you gotta be alliteration. Couch compatible. <laughs> Creative Commons already conflicts with closed captioning. Oh, we're good then. There's closed captioning, Creative Commons, and now couch compatible. <laughs> have you played this game yet? Before? I have not. Okay. You are Pento, the little penguin. There are snow bees. They are your enemies. You need to squish them with ice blocks. Or you can stun them with the wall. 
Um, there are ice blocks you push around. Then there's diamond blocks, which don't break if you push them around. Ah. Uh, you put three diamond blocks together, you get bonus. It's not super easy when you first begin to do that. Um, so those are the basics. I'm going to let you... Oh, you can watch this. See, it pushes the blocks, and you squish the bees. You must... uh, this is like a random... Looks like very random. <laughs> Just pushing blocks. But you push the blocks That's on the same level. That's pretty much what it'll look like when I play. I might squish fewer <laughs> of them, but... <laughs> So, players one, you want to change the difficulty to not arcade, not expert, probably novice. So it'll be a little bit easier for you. And go for it. And press it again. So there's your play field. So the flashing ones are where they're going to emerge, or where they hide. So get ready to push to the left. Button! Oh! oh. Sorry, you have to press the button to push it. Okay. Moving That's good, because yeah. that means I don't accidentally do them. Yep. Yeah. Oh, it's going to come. Oh, push up. There you go. That's how you do it. And continue. So, uh, updates that have happened since we last played it on September 21st. Um, this build is from today. This is a 144k game. This, and the music is Popcorn, which was in some of the versions. You can't squish two at once if you get uh, crafty. Yay! And you got them all. At the top of the screen, they're all gone oh, now. Oh, and this one, this game, shows the number you have left. Yep. And the one on the screen is the other one. So there will be zero <laughs> when you die. There will already right. be zero up there. Right. Yeah, it's one of those. And the little uh, snow bees oh. get faster and faster. Oh, Run away! No! No! Ah! Ah! And if, as you've discovered, this is a tile-based game, so you move in tile moves. It's not a free-moving game, right? There you go. Oh, you can get two. Oh, no. Uh, but this is a joystick controller. Uh, Darcy doesn't know joystick controller <laughs> issue more than anything here. Squish. Okay, uh -oh. now there's another move that you need to learn, especially for the higher levels. If you push against a wall, the whole wall vibrates, and any of the snow bees... Woohoo! Nice. Any of the snow bees along the wall get stunned, and then you can run over them. Okay, he's escaping. Oh, you got him! It's like Dig Dug, where the last guy escapes uh, off the screen. And do you lose if he escapes, or no, you just get fewer you, points? you just get fewer points. Yeah. yeah, I love the popcorn music, too. Tanya loves that song. The interludes... And the shorter you do a level, little dance. <laughs> shorter you do the level, the more extra points. So I got ten points because I was slow. Yeah. I see. So the goal is to kill them all. Yes, and ah, fast. Okay. Fast. Kill them all and fast. And how? And you see where they're flashing? Uh oh. Oh, you could have got two of them. Okay. Now they're fast. Yes. Ah. <laughs> Ah, ah, Remember, you no, can dig. You no! Can dig. You can push them and dig. Nice. Not, ah! ah! He got to it first. You should practice the wall. What, sorry, what's the wall? Smack against the wall when one of those guys are against the wall and it stuns them. Hmm? Oh, like no. the outside walls. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Switch A to hear the pokey music. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, so much better. Sorry, I had to set... Beef. Yeah, this is the awesome, awesome pokey music. Okay. Well, I did stun them, but it didn't help me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to read all the updates. Uh, this version, uh, on the 2030 released version, this version alternates background tunes per round. I start with popcorn tunes. Ah, no! Ah! <laughs> I can't believe okay. I'm still alive. Do, do, the, do the wall. Smack against the wall. There you go. Then run them over. Run them over. Run them over. There you go. You can't re stun them until they wake up. Okay. You can't continually stun them. Nice. Good move. That's how you use the wall. Woo! Uh, this also includes an updated popcorn tune for TIA. Yeah, the, the new music is unbelievable. Took me 60 and over and I got nothing. Oh. Nice. So the ones that flash... Woo! 
Free. <laughs> um, you can destroy those blocks. Uh, bluff. Why? I'm Why? very bad with controllers. <laughs> oh, oh, nice. No, you're doing really well. Free. No, I mean I'm not doing the thing I want to do, though. No! Oh, just missed him. You almost killed yourself, too. Oh. Um, by running into him? The new cheat code has been added. This one can be accessed in the demo. At the title screen, right, right, left, left, right, 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 left, left, left. Toggles the ability to force the background to. This just points. unlocks. Nice. And locks the right difficulty switch. Can be used as uh, versions prior to the alternating tune. Tightened up the collision when an ice block catches a snow bee. Added sound effects when a snow bee is crushed. Oh, no. I died. And the game is over. Uh, on the 6th, refined controls, smoother navigation, button action now mimics the arcade, so now it cannot be held down indefinitely. I didn't know it was. Yeah, interesting. Credit screen's now been added. Snowbees hatch faster. Uh, tighter snow block collision. Almost too easy now. Yeah, I, I, I was, I, I found a way where I was pushing the blocks and it went right through the guy. There's my name. Where? Zero page homebrew. Yay, that includes you! <laughs> Woo! Um, <laughs> uh, intermission. Uh, oh, nice music. For, oh, so you can oh. squish those. I would run away, actually. <laughs> They're hatching. Oh, oh, nice! Oh, you, can, you should have pushed it. Oh. oh, so you can hit them while they're flashing. This is what you're uh, saying. When they flash, like that one next to you, yeah. if it doesn't flash, if it doesn't emerge, you right. can destroy it and it'll kill a future snow bee. See those things up, which you should do. This one, this one, this one, destroy it. Yeah, but uh, it's too oh, late now it's hatched. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, it didn't hatch. It didn't hatch. It's going to hatch now. But I kicked it. Yeah, when it, you can only destroy it when it's against another thing or the wall. Otherwise, it's pushing it. Uh, intermit intermission penguins oh. walk off from screen now. Music no. is synced where it plays the full tune after level six. The arcade always cuts the tune off. The intermission can be skipped with the joystick button once the penguins are halfway across the screen. So you got two lined up. Mm -hmm. If you get all three, you get a huge bonus. Ah, huge bonus. You get ten thousand points if it's in. But the you can't break those ones because they were diamond ones. Yeah, you can't break them. But if you line them up three in a row, you get ten. Ah. No! 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 <laughs> they are tricky. <laughs> I can fix the issue James found without making it too easy. In addition to fixing the issue, the ice just has to graze a snow bee to catch it. Nice. Uh, Pokey Sounds is fixed on Concerto. At least works on my cart. TIA Sound also works on Concerto. I did have one issue where the game would crash when I tried to start the game. I erased the game off my cart and recopied the game. It has been running on the concerto for three hours, now in invincible mode. It's now up to level 80 since the snow bees forfeit after two minutes of activity. Half has been in pokey mode, half in TIA. So, uh, I... Uh, so this is the update for today. First off, I'm sorry this is not fully couch compliant. I do not see a better way to switch between TIA and Pokey on the fly. You could put it in the menu for beforehand, before you start the game, to switch between Pokey and TIA. TIA. I think extra ways of doing things. Oh, fast now. oh no! The wall, the wall, the wall, the wall! Ah! Oh, the wall. the wall! Yeah, yeah, smack the wall, yeah. Yeah. So it's easy to forget about that. Meaty Spag, welcome! I love that there's still new stuff being made for the Atari XX100 series. It's like people who make levels and mods for Doom and Wolf 3D. Yes. It, no! It, there's a... a <laughs> my, control, a, my control of the joystick is killing me. There's a very, very passionate uh, community that makes amazing 2600 and 7800 games. As you can tell. Um, and actually, it's just getting bigger, if you can believe that. Big. <laughs> oh, oh. Ah! Ah! Wall. Oh, you got one. Just in time. The other one got you. 
Who was the first to term use the term couch compliant? That's a good Indeed, question. You'll have to. I think somebody in the chat did it on one day. I don't think I came up with it, and I think that there's a in the thread the person that came up with it said their name. I'm starting to hate Proline controllers. Do not use Proline. They're called. Pro those are the original 70. It's treat time. Uh, yum, 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 yum. They're nicknamed pain line controllers. Oh my goodness. It's treat time. Is We're something happening? Little break Is right now. Is something happening? For treat time. You gotta hit it. You gotta make the noise. Come on, dum dum. <laughs> oh. Hit the bell. Ding. Go. Pixel. Um. <laughs> So thank you, Thrust, for invoking Good. treat time. Atari, oh, bigger. There you go. Atari's very happy. There's no pixel. Don't don't throw any more in the hallway. He'll just eat them. Oh, there you go. I got it. Dumb dumb might show up. Give Darcy some treats too. You want to eat some greenies? You want some treats? You want some treats? Dum dum dum. It's treat time for us too. Cashews, cashews and almonds. Yeah, that's all you got. Yep. No, he's going for the hallway, hallway food. Wow. Oh. Started something. <laughs> Three times back. Nuts are back in the menu, boys. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Play more. I have more things to read. Okay. Do better. <laughs> Novice. Oh. Oh my god, you're gonna die. That was always uh, inevitable. Um. Speaking of TIA Pokey. What? So this. Uh, this I hadn't even touched a joystick and it was already. <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and I moved. Though. It's arcade. What? But I was moving. What about it? Well, I hadn't touched the joystick, and I, I looked over and found myself, like, not where I... Really? Be. I think you're moving the joystick. Um, this would get a, uh, a silver couch compliance, I think, because it's only missing one option, which is the, the music, I think, on the Switch, because you can't do that in the menu. So... Bronze would be, you can restart the game with the joystick. <laughs> Silver is you can do just about everything, but not everything from the menu system. And gold is you can do everything. I think bronze is you can play the game without uh, having to get up to restart it yeah. and all that stuff. Yeah. Maybe yeah. not difficulty levels. I don't levels. care about the other things. As long as it's bronze, I'm pretty happy. Yeah. Maybe not difficulty levels for bronze. And the gold standards, you can do everything every option that exists in the game from the joystick sitting down. Sometimes that may not be mm. possible. Can you get through those levels by including a stick <laughs> in the box? Yeah. <laughs> My reaching pointer. <laughs> I wanted to Pokey and Teddy to be switched while playing the game. And they can be. And that's an, that's an additional thing. But it costs thing. you. <laughs> it costs you gold. Yeah. No, these are all just joke <laughs> certifications, so <laughs> it's just for fun. Um, speaking of TIA Pokey, this release features Pat Brady's updated TIA music with TIA harmonies. He altered the TIA en engine for this functionality while not interfering with the sound effects. Uh, he remade the alternate popcorn and own to joy. When I added the level path clear for popcorn levels, he had the tune before lunch. Uh, hey, Steve. No, we didn't beat 2048. We got better at it. Uh, James, if you're willing to get your co controllers modified, you could have the remote functions wired up from the Player One controller at least on your 2600 RGB. Yeah, I I thought about that, but I remember when we were putting together the 2600 RGB the first time, and it had the option for the reset and select switch, but that means I would have to specifically use one controller and that only controller to play because it's like 
specially wired. Oh, what level are you playing on? Easy. Expert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, easy. Yes, it did say Pento. It is the updated version of today. And uh, oh, it said Penta, actually. Oh, the, the penguins called Pento. Um, updates. The game now has 16 unique maze layouts, plus blob and ZPH layouts. And we'll take a look at the ZPH layouts in a bit. No! Down! Ah! <laughs> I think... I am the worst. It, it's it's tile-based, right? You press a direction, it moves a whole square. I know, but it's that I'm pre I'm obviously pressing the joystick in the wrong direction. <laughs> it's not really the joystick that's the problem. Oh. It's definitely me. Oh, yeah, too. Um, added a credit screen. No, up, up, up! Hey, be nice to the bratwursts. <laughs> <laughs> no, the bratwursts to be nice to me. Um... Control refinement. Penguin now glides around the ice maze. I think I found the best flow. Considering diagonals may always cause issues with this type of layout. Level path clear for popcorn levels. Maybe it's you and the joystick. Nomad. Nom de game says. Hey, Nom de game. Welcome. You're uh, correct. Everybody is to blame. <laughs> Everybody. There's Maximum no, blame. No blameless people here. <laughs> Why can't I just read my mind? Graphic tweaks, collision tweaks, probably other things that will come to me later. Ah! So, credits for this. I really didn't bother with picking out the music for Pokey. I originally had the faux harmonies to back the TIA music. People seemed happy with that. The game was shaping up to where I felt it needed more. Paul, PlaySoft, shared a Pokey engine. He helped enable me to compose Pango music, Pango music from the musical keyboard to Pokey. When people started asking me about popcorn, he supplied popcorn music. He also benchmarked it for me, so I knew I stood wi where I stood with FPS. Around the same time people were asking for popcorn, uh, Brady offered oh, to compose oh my the TIA popcorn music. The game was pretty much complete, so anything else was just icing on the cake. He said he'd really like to incorporate TIA harmonies. I was very concerned about the potential for slowdown by adding more processing. Because the game gets pretty maxed in the later levels, I also shared that I was happy with the feedback from the original showing. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Since I didn't use any of the farty and burpy TIA noises, viewers questioned if it was pokey. I didn't want to lose the clean sound. He refined some of my TIA music cu with custom assembly and sent me compositions. He let me know that a couple notes used noise to hit notes that the TIA could not re reproduce naturally. However, he adjusted the volume to where they blend. I was blown away. It adds real character. I actually enjoyed switching back and forth. So this is, the music in this is astounding. Oh. And it has very rich, hey, you're playing, don't die. Ah! <laughs> Daryl says it's eight way. And oh. it will choose horizontal over vertical. Oh, oh. primarily it's horizontal first. Uh, that's probably the struggle. So you have to be very precise with, oh my God, you were so lucky there. No, that's skill. <laughs> Remember the walls. There are walls. You can you can hide along the walls and just 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 oh, nice. Oh. Squish. Um, I it in. I gotta say I don't like that. I had to include Mike. Without seventy hundred basic, I would never no. have ventured here. Oh, he's no, running. he's running. Uh, there was a point where I had a weird crash. I sent him to debug info, and he told me right where to look. Without Matt's VS Code environment, I probably wouldn't have even tried to get into this. Set to a tor set to four-way. I do have a four-way joystick if you want that. Are you it's having fine. trouble? It's fine. I am. I am the. I am the problem. <laughs> I am the number one problem here. Okay. Just to be clear. Um. So I have a bunch of different versions of Pango or uh, Penta that we'll take a look at in a little bit. I'm going to get a chance to play after Darcy here. No, you're not. <laughs> Darcy's going to play forever. He's no! A, he's a tricky bastard. Ho, ho, ho! Surrounded. <laughs> Surrounded. Surrounded. No. Oh, 
What? You just giving up? I'm gonna start from from mm, zero. I did think I was dead. You're almost dead. I'll die for you. Thanks, man. I knew <laughs> you'd die for me. <laughs> I die for you. <laughs> take a bullet for you. I'll take a snow bee for you. Did you notice on the bottom that there's a little uh, hangy? Yeah. That has a flag and it counts the flags and then when you get to number five it has a five instead of flags yes That's very uh very 80s thing to do galaga has that as mm -hmm. well so you don't have tons of flags and it's much it's cooler than uh like a little number yeah. level it's 10. like hash marks and yeah switch to a five when you've you know so uh i will also be playing novice <laughs> i like the the penguin hitting the the, the n on the start Play, button playing basketball with the end actually he's pressing he's a button. pressing the button yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. it's very good S. Ramirez likes the uh, couch compliance logo. Ah! Come on. Two? Mm -hmm. Three! Oh! Yes! Squish. Um, so, let's try and uh, get three in a row. I doubt I'm going to be able to do it. Oh, oh he's, he's vacating. Oh, you bastard. Nope, not this time. Yes, what is 20th Street Arcade? Is that your company? Because I can incorporate that into the credits. Uh, when I put it in, you know, the lists and stuff. Uh, oh, three. Three, yes. Two, three, two triples, <laughs> two triples, mm -hmm. and squish. I'm so I'm always very preoccupied with squishing them, rather than lining up those. But if you watch any, any rather than lining up what um, the invincible blocks. How do blocks? you choose? Oh, because they appear on the invincible blocks. Uh, you know, you line them up and get blocks points. Oh, it, I see. It's not. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's all that I would go for. You get 10,000 points, which is a ton of points. Mm -hmm. But it's it's challenging because you're dealing with a time limit of two two minutes. Yeah, uh, but that's more than the bonus you get. Oh, yeah. Ah! Yeah, you get huge bonus. Two. Why did you... One. Why did that one die that was on top Whoa, of you? Whoa, you went right through it! Yeah. Is that allowed? Is that a legal move from the snow bee is to go right through it? That's cheat. I can't go through them. Oh, oh, he took off in a flash there. <laughs> you see him? He, he knew how mad you were. 20th Street Arcade is my basement, so I decided to publish under that name. That will be allowed. What? Because he hatched right next to it? Is that why it's allowed? Hmm. Maybe I it's to keep them like from it. being trapped? Maybe, yeah. Oh, oh my god, that's just stunning, guys. You're causing trouble. Um, ah! Stun! Ah, stun! Ah! Stun. It's so easy to just stun them when they're against the wall. I don't know if you get as many points. I, I think you do. Or maybe you don't because you're pushing a block as well. Mm, yeah, I don't think you do because I think you only it's get 100 that way. If they hatch and are cornered by an unbreakable block. Oh, okay. So he was cornered. Sometimes they'll go through star cubes and hidden blocks. Don't know everyone, you need a 20th Street Arcade neon sign. Yes. that's That would be awesome. 20th Street Arcade. An arcade is in... One of them's in fancy script. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. Let me destroy that block. It's a snow bee. Ah, uh, ah, uh, run. Yeah, you got 500 for killing its block. Mmm. So you get a bunch of points for doing that. Here's another one. Goodbye. Oh, I see. I didn't realize that you could, um... You can pre-kill them. I didn't realize you could do it... Ah. Um... Die. I didn't realize you could do it after it stopped flashing. And I did smash ones, or I thought I smashed ones, but what I did was move them, and you gotta break them. You gotta break them. Yeah, yeah I didn't get that. Now you need an upright cam cabinet running this game. <laughs> that would be cool. I've always wanted a cabinet in my house. 
It's like a multi main. Ah! Ah! Run for the wall! Run for safety! Ah! Run for safety! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Squish! Would you get more bonus points for killing stun? You go. Uh, I think. Ah, one, he's I, I think you get the same. Ah, too late. Yeah. You got 400. For squishing a stunned for one. For a stunned one, and it's something like that for mm. squishing them. I'll try and pay attention. That is how glitching. No, it's intentional. Yeah, it's a it's a move. It's an awesome move. See, even getting it to on 19 seconds, you only get 5,000 points. Which so is if the other things were 10,000, it's worth it to spend the time and get no time bonus. It is. Yeah, in theory. The other option I thought was Bento. Bentley Bear's Arctic Cousin. <laughs> Bento Bear. <laughs> Bento Bento. Yeah, that'd be a good one. Oh, head for the wall. <laughs> I'm so scared. Oh, up, up. The smash that one, or was it? Never mind. See? Two once. Ah, you hatched and that one. before oh, I could. You hatched. I, I wasn't paying attention to flashing. I was too panicked. Oh, okay. Too panicked. I was just telling you. See how they, they smash through bricks so often that... Yes, nice ending. <laughs> Lots of potential with ice castles. Yep. This is a super, super duper fun game. And it plays really, really smoothly now. Not that it didn't before, but it's like really smooth now. Uh, okay. You die. Uh, yeah, you get 400 ah! for squishing them. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Let's try and squish some. That, too! Nice. And, and it seems to be a multiplier. Oh my god. See, so they just smash through. There we go. Yeah, you get 1600 for two, but I, I don't recall what you got for three. Mm. Uh, it doubles every time. 3200. Yeah, 3200, yeah. You get a lot for combos. What level am I? So there's 16 levels. 16 unique maze layouts. Two. Oh, oh, so close. Very close. Ten, ten, ten. We'll get him now. Ah! Ah! Squish. Squish. You got just as many for... Squish. Ah! Mm, 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 mm. Ah! <laughs> ah! Let's go here. Come on, come on, come on. You know you want to. He doesn't want to. Oh, he does want to. <laughs> <laughs> 3,200 for three, 6,400 for four. And 30. four is the most, because there's only ever four on the screen at once. I think so. So, so it's two are flashing, and you could smash them. I've forgotten already where they are. <laughs> They're right there. Ah! Oh, look, and I squished one. Oh, it didn't squish. But I will now. Squish. And that one at the top there is one. The one I just pushed? That one's flashing now. Never mind. Ah! Too close. It's hard to describe it when, like, I see its position, and yes. I'm like, but it's in that position that I see. <laughs> Can't you one see of the it? many, one of the many cubes on the screen. <laughs> yeah, it's hard to describe things when. Uh, okay. Ah. Oh, you're gonna run, aren't you? Yep. Oh, got him. Can I make him? So, smash him with the. Never mind. Too oh. late. Oh, I will. I will. I will. I will. I will. Nope. Just missed him. Could have stunned him again. Men did it. Kitties. What did I get? Eh, 500 points. Oh, Ooh. hello. Now, this was described to me what he was doing. I can't remember what he's doing now. He's either eating writing seeds or, or eating. I thought he was at a desk drinking writing. from a giant mug of beer. <laughs> That's what I think. Could be. That one is bad. Uh, two. Boom. Uh, Daryl says there's way more points to smash them after they're stunned. Okay. It's definitely at least a hundred more. Four! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> There's at least a hundred more. Ah! Uh, 
Oh, I should have stunned. There we go. Stun. Yep. Smash them after stun. So that's a good tactic, too. Drinking from a giant martini glass, so it's not a death. That's what it was. Wait, no, they... Check. 400 if they're stunned. If you smash them after the stun, you got 400. But if mm. you smash them in the thing, you get 500. Come on. Ah! Uh, no! Oh my god, that was close. Okay, wake up. Oh. Oh, you got two of them at once and you weren't even trying. <laughs> yes. Smash it. Bastard. When I want them to smash it, they don't. How about now? Oh, stink. Stink of a cat. Ugh. <laughs> oh, I could have got more there. For some reason, I am a lot better at this game today than before. I was not doing as well. I think it's just, uh... No, it's uh, not tree time. It's something on my computer. It says, uh, Daryl says, drinking from a giant martini glass. Yep. He is. Oh. More drinking. Oh, he's drunk. No, oh, he's drinking some more. He's in the martini he's, glass. He's, 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 he's uh, <laughs> in his cups. He's getting down to the bottom of the martini glass. Literally in it. You die. You die. Oh god. Oh god. Squish. Ooh, that got three. Wow. And I didn't even think it would. I got two. I got one. Mm, mm, mm. Smash. Smash. Oh, smash. Oh, no. Can I get him? Nope. So you're on level 13. Yeah, the control is a lot better now, despite Darcy's protests. <laughs> it's a lot smoother. Like, before, I was having trouble with control, and it just, it's way better now. Oh! Is that my first death? Uh, you that might have gotten first more, death. uh... That was my first death. I remember you complaining about... Stuff. Oh, they're so fast now. Oh my god, I'm gonna die. I'm so dead. Oh, oh my god, I got three. Can't believe it. Okay, start smashing. I'm gonna get a bunch of you. Nope. Okay, start smashing. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> they're so fast now. Can't smash them when they're hatching. Yeah, they're invincible. Also, it's really hard to miss with the ice block. That, too. Yeah, he's fixed the ice block, so they actually smash them. Oh, back to the martini glass. Drink, 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 drink. Is that going to hatch right beside me? No, but if you smash it, it will never hatch. Oh, God. Another accidental one. Did I get one? Yeah, you, you got two of them. Oh, really. Ah, damn and it. then you died. They're so fast now. Mm, I'm gonna have to go back to the wall strategy. Smash the one behind you. Okay. Uh, oh, <laughs> like when you do things, you're stunned for a bit and you can't move. So when I was like stunning the wall, then I couldn't move. <laughs> I think they don't get less stunned. Like, oh, 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 got ya. Um, like the amount of time they're stunned doesn't reduce as the levels go up, which is very good. He trips on the way out. I think they're too easy. Well, if you hit it with a block, you should hit it with a block, right? It shouldn't be like, oh, you didn't hit it with a block when you actually did. So many times. Come here. Come here. Come here. But they're on the other side of that ah! awesome block. Ah! And he made me go for it, and I died as a result. Oh, last life! No! Round He's 16. Living. 
100,000. But I am on easy. What shall we do? But the difference deal? between easy. Well, yeah. Well, that's his chair. So on you the get left. extra. You get extra lives on yep. the easiest, and start I suspect slower. that it starts slower. So, yeah. like by now, you're already on hard now. Yes. So smash the one to your left, and the one above. Those two at the top there. Never mind. I, I see. I'm busy. No, you're not. <laughs> smash it. Ah! Uh... Oh my God! I gotta use the wall. Just stay to the wall. Unless there's an opportunity. Come on, start smashing through. There you go. Three at once. Wow. Domination! <laughs> <laughs> Clever girl. <laughs> they gained up on him like a, on a, like a pair of raptors. They did. Brutal. Ganged up on me. Uh, one for you. One for you. Oh my god, that was so close. I'm getting left. And it's game over. Good run though. I just Level noticed 18. now the eggs at the top. Yeah. That tell you how many more are coming. Two hatch. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna put my name in even though it doesn't remember it because I didn't have the thing. That's too bad. I didn't have it plugged in. This best five chart, is this just for beginners? Or is it everybody competes on the same chart? High scores. I don't know. Did you get to the ZPH level? Uh, I don't think it's in this one. We are going to play a different one very briefly to show you the ZPH level. Because I have to unlock it to get to the ZPH one. It's like left, 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 right, right, right. I think. I think that was in it. Is that correct? Daryl? This is the best five is the same chart without high score save. There. Oh, that's fine. Uh, ZPH is unlocked by a joystick combination. I did left, 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 right, right, right. No. <laughs> that is incorrect. It's a secret. Oh, no. Okay. Well, we're going to play the ZPH one then. Um, oh, you died. By force. I died. <laughs> Unskippable! That's fine. It's cute and short. You can skip that. Uh, so, yeah, let's do arcade. ZPH level! This awesome. Is, I can see why this one's hidden. It does not look fair. <laughs> no, it's a lot of trouble going on here. <laughs> it is an arcade level <laughs> difficulty. Ah, they just make a snow beeline for you. Oh, terrible. Oh, I should show uh, the bonus when you get all the things together as well. So I have not shown that in this. So squish, 400 points. Um, okay, so let's restart it with easy. And put together the blocks. There is two player mode, but it's alternating. Yeah. Um, so if I do this, and then do that, and do that, and then do that, and then do that. 10,000 points. See, that was worth doing on that yeah. level, because that was fairly simple. But, and if you get it against the wall, which is much easier to do, because you just push them against the wall. Yeah. Um, oh, and they all get stunned, too. Yeah, what? what? <laughs> um, can you get bonus points again? Or is it like... It's funny, from above, they look like they're... When it's the above one, Yeah. it does look like... They're punching. They're punching bags, but the one from the side, it looks like um, a Dalek um, sucker uh, no, you don't toilet, bowl, uh, toilet bowl. Toilet <laughs> bowl. 
And I, <laughs> didn't know, I didn't know why they had toilet bowl plungers. <laughs> Dalek toilet bowl plungers. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Okay, so. So you didn't get it? No, no, you don't get it. You get it once per level. You per can't. Level. You can't get it again. Okay, so we showed that off. Um, this is absolutely a super, super fun game. Um, oh, I left, 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 right, right, right. Allows the force tune. Okay. Uh, force tune. I'm doing well enough to be able to handle two games while living the rest of my life. What? <laughs> you only get to pick two games. If you only had to pick two 7800 games to play for the rest of your life, which ones would they be? Okay. We're going to move on to the last game of the day. By the way, Pango is astounding. Yeah, yeah, it's really good. S like, beautiful arcade conversion. Yep. Uh, it's super fun to play. Has all the challenge that you ever need by going to arcade if it's too easy on novice. 100% download it now. It's available in the Atari Age forums. Uh, a demo version. Um, I was playing the unlimited version. I can't remember what the limitations are of the demo, but uh, there's plenty to have fun with on the demo, especially if you set it to arcade. So we're going to play. What are we going to play? Let's take a look at my schedule. We're going to play Robots Rumble. Now, this is a brand new game that was just released a couple days ago. It was actually released during the broadcast of the last show, and I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> I was very tempted to play it at the end of the last show, but I was already tired from doing the whole show uh, to add another one on. It's by uh, Matt Smith, M.K. Smith. Uh, do it, does the programming. Bobby Clark, uh, Synth Papalooza does the sound. Mike Sarna, Revenge does the graphics and sound. And we are going to be using... The Adladen controller for it, because it is a two-joystick game. Ah. So you can have that on your lap for now. Yeah, the RK, this the 7800 scene is on fire. And S. Ramirez knows this more than anybody else. There are so many games, secret games in the works right now, that I'm beta testing and a bunch of other people beta testing that are mind-blowing. And there's a lot of them. Um... Of which that we're going to play on M.K. Smith's interview day as well. Two secret uh, 7800 homebrews. The future is very bright for the 7800. So if you don't have one and you and you don't have a Dragonfly cart, now is the time. Well, Dragonfly carts are sold out. So get a Concerto cart because they're still being made. It is time to get it right now. Uh, I was told by TBA, uh, what is the Brewing Academy... That's what that stands for. Yesterday, ask me why so many UAVs were suddenly getting purchased, which is upgrades for the output for the 7800, which I have in mine, which gives a very nice picture through S-Video. Mm -hmm. um, and I suspect the new brews in the 7800 and other systems, plus the Tink 5X as well, which is what we're running through, it's largely to blame for that, and I believe that. Too many secret projects, but they have to get them looking good and playing good before you play them, so it's good. Um, okay, back to what we're talking about the new game robots rumble this was first posted november 9th this builds from yesterday it's a 128k game um so we're going to take a look at the original one uh the zx spectrum version which is the first uh version that it was made for uh boom youtube so i'll just mute it the title screen. Um, so this was released in uh, 2018 for the ZX Spectrum um, and 2019 for the Commodore 64, VIC-20, and C plus 4, the thing you were asking about. We should take a look at that after. Um, arcade puzzle platformer made with ADG. I'm guessing that's a development thing for ZX Spectrum. In this game, you have to guide the robot uh, to the latest screen of each planet and throw it in the lava. You control the robot with the left and right magnets. Avoid green radioactive rocks and guardians. You need to recharge your energy uh, picking up the batteries. So there are the magnets, and they are controlled with the up-down on this left, right joystick, up and down. Uh, there is a one joystick version with the button. So left is without the button and right is with the button if you only have one joystick. 
Um, so let's check out the C64 version of this as well, because that was made after. This one has a uh, very copyrighted music on it by Michael Jackson, of which we would get shut down for <laughs> or get a copyright strike. So very nice looking on the C64. Same same gameplay, guiding your robot to the bottom without getting into the green radioactive. It looks like grass to me, but it's rocks. Yeah, it's like radioactive sp uh, spiky yeah. rocks. And those teleport you <clears throat> up. And uh, so there's there's lots of different things. Billy Jean, that's what it is. Love the C64 sound chip. Oh, love it. The SID chip, so good. So um, I got a message from Matt, September 17th. Uh, just wanted to know, let you know that I've been working on a new game, a conversion of the Spectrum C64 VIC-20 homebrew game called Robots Rumble. You use two magnets to guide robots to their deaths across various planets. There are built-in instructions within the game which explains everything. I've added some graphical enhancements and a couple of additional modes. Beginner slows everything down to 70% speed and speed run a race against the clock. Uh, the game's basically finished. Just waiting on Synth Papalooza to finish off a couple tunes for me. Then I will announce it and release it. And now it has been announced and released. So let's get into the game. Thank you, Feline Frequencies, for following us and enjoying what we do on the show. Here we go. New game from MK Smith. Robots Rumble. So let's go to the instruction. Oh, let's plug in the joystick and turn off the system again. <laughs> Thank you very much. Port one, port two. So one joystick does the magnets on one side and the other one does the magnets on the other side? That is correct. Okay. In their respective sides. What? They're not opposite? They are opposite to mess with you, yes. That's the that's the hard mode. I can switch them. <laughs> no no no. Okay, let's go to instructions. It's probably just the left joystick. Game concept and graphics by Migetello. 7800 conversion by Chunky Pixel Games. Programming, Matthew Smith. Music and sound, Bobby Clark. Graphics and sound, Mike Sarna. QA, Robert Tuchito. Steve Ramirez, S. Ramirez in the chat. And somebody else. Uh, welcome. <laughs> you are Slade. Oh, nobody can see this. Let's start again. And put the actual cartridge on the screen. Oh, no. They... Oh, you love my shirt or his shirt? I love my shirt too. Darcy's shirt's pretty cool too. It's yellow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's probably that one they have. Game concept, blah, 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 QA. You would have to have done joke, the... Joke, uh, old joke. My name's there. The you have to be in Vancouver. 2005 24-hour game night at Drexel Games have one of these shirts. Yeah, it's very limited. It's very limited. Welcome, you're <sighs> slave. You have to have been very tired. Who are you looking at, mister? You are Slade, 45 years old, and yes, you love your job. To destroy broken robots. You'll be sent to different planets, guiding your broken robots through different scenarios. Your mission, throw them into the lava with the exclusive help of two old big magnets. Button. Button, please. Button. Sorry. Um, so your goal is to throw them into the lava. Yes. But don't let them hit any radioactive rocks. <laughs> No, they, they must, must be burned in the lava. must be burned in the lava. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I guess it's left and right. Ah. Magnets. Kryptonite. Oh. Uh, Sentinels. Sentinels. Bad. Battery. Good. Charge up. Magnets have a limited battery charge. They can be charged. Oh, you charge up your magnets. Not the, not the robots. By picking up the batteries on the map, if you run out of energy, you die. If both magnets are aligned with the robot, it will stop moving. It's like... Uh, you must avoid the green stones of kryptonite. The robot will explode, causing pollution of the entire planet. Oh. See, that's not good. The lava just completely terminates them, like in Terminator 2. Yes. Or 1. What was it? Terminator 2. Yeah. Also watch out for the sentinels roaming around the planet as well. Next page. 
you can use there's the lava pit very nice animation i love these instructions in the game uh you can use mobile platforms to fill gaps break glass floors climb through light lifts and use teleportation to guide robots into lava pits move the joystick up and down to adjust the magnets when playing with one of the one joystick hold the fire to switch magnets tip two joysticks allows two players to work together mm, nah. okay next <laughs> Game modes, beginner. Go from apprentice to master, master as you can learn to utilize the magnets to control the robots with a little less urgency. Pro, default, push your mind and reflexes to the limit as you guide each robot into the lava pits without running out of power. Speed run, master the planets, race against the clock and compete for the fastest time in the galaxy. We'll leave that for S. Ramirez. Okay, <laughs> button. And let's go for not pro. Let's go controls two joysticks and start. Okay. There's no sound. Is that it turned off? Nope. And I destroyed the sound. planet. I don't know. Hmm. 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 Let me reset. Do it again. Start. No. That was on... Um, that was through something else. Hmm. Blue is ghosting quite a bit. Well, something is coming in the mail to fix that. To fix my ghosting issues from Crossbow. And it's supposed to be coming today. Oh, it is ghosting it quite a bit. Yeah. You can't see it on our screen here, but I've adjusted it so the colors are a bit closer to what they should be but uh, it is NTSC never the same color twice uh oh never twice the same color yes bad luck yep I I, uh, I noticed during the demo that the, this was going to be a problem having to move this out of the way <laughs> when you get the teleporters going up oh yeah because it doesn't affect you when they're going down. Looks like it would work fun. with 3D glasses. Oh, it's not that bad. The bleed's not that bad, is it? Let's see. No, oh, I did that just, I. nobody knows what he's doing. It's a little, it's pretty bleedy. Yeah, it's pretty bleedy. James, you have mail! Do I? Should I go get the mail? Can you entertain the crowds? <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll go get the mail. Careful what you ask for. Be right back. Now that we're alone. Wait! Atari, come back! Now we're really alone! I don't know what to do! There are no instructions on here. Awesome. There's no coffee in here. Peanuts. I'll have some nuts. No nuts! I can't... I can't listen to you, Daryl. I don't know if you're telling me the truth. Or... Oh, it was true. This one time. Doesn't mean I can just trust you in general, though. Oh, you're back to save me. No, don't show them your butt. That's rude. <laughs> See the abuse that happens? I'm a very abusive person. But he must love it because, look, he's still here. I he can't hate it too much if he stays. He's not afraid to run away from you. Look what happens if you put a pillow on him. Apparently nothing. <laughs> what do you... 
What's happening over there? Oh my gosh. All right. Oh no, I'm running out of battery power, apparently. Okay. And then I do this. And then I do this. Oh, I ran out of battery power, I guess. Um, well, there's still no coffee in this cup. Um, maybe I could clean my mouth to spend some time until James gets back. Did you win? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In fact, I spent very little time playing the game. <laughs> hey, the British IBM, thank you for following. I have to hide the addresses here. Because I haven't blacked them out. Getting the mail is not as simple as going to the door. He has to go to the door, open the door, <laughs> exit the door, run down the stairs, run around the corner to the other side of the building, run up the stairs, unlock the door, run up more stairs, <laughs> unlock the mailbox, yes. <laughs> grab the mail, and then he has to do all that stuff again in reverse. Yep. That's why he looks like he's out of breath. It's not an act. He's I live out of in breath. Because I live in a townhouse. I don't just have a mailbox out front. So this is from Crossbow. Thank you, Crossbow. Um, that was pretty darn fast then. Yeah, uh, pretty fast. Let's open this up. Let's see what it is. This will solve the issues that, well, hopefully solve the issues that people are full screen, please. There's nothing to see yet, but I will. Well, okay. We'll let Darcy play. No! On his own. While I open this up. Actually, it would be better in cat cam when I actually finish opening it up. Right now, it just looks like bubble wrap. <laughs> it's package within a package within a package within a package. There we go. It's very, very tiny. I'm picturing your hair flying back as you book down the hallway at full speed. Maybe. Or at least help at least. Maybe. <laughs> okay, here it is. Let's switch to the cat cam. So you can see what it is. No! So. Ugh. No, it's not for cats. Look at him. He's trying to climb up. No. So, this is what Crossbow sent me. And it goes in line. There we go. So, it goes... Uh, in line on the video output of the Atari 7800 that uh, could possibly help with uh, the bleeding. And it cleans up the, the picture of, of the output of the 7800 so we don't get as much bleeding. And he's had very good success with it. Um, so hopefully it will work well when I uh, put it into the 7800. And he's... Uh, Show me how to install it, and it looks very, very simple. I don't need to have a desoldering gun. Whew! Just need to desolder it. Solder so sucker. Ran out of gun. juice again. Darcy has a desoldering gun. That's right. And I do it's need to still in it. the box. <laughs> I do need to borrow it <laughs> for my fifty-two hundred upgrade, possibly, um, but I don't need it for this. So I'm looking forward to that, making the picture even better, because. Uh, you're not playing? My turn. Well, I played. I, I did reset. all sorts of playing. Because... Um, I put... Oh, God. Okay. It needs to go down here. It needs to go down here. Then down here. Then it needs to go down here. Um, down here, 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 
here. Sorry. <laughs> and here. Here. Um, yeah, that goes to here. Here. Oh, God. Oh, that other magnet. Oh, not for RF. No. Or maybe it does work for RF. I don't know. Hi, buddy. We had fun when he was gone, didn't we? <laughs> we had so much fun. We were showing everybody your butt. Remember? <laughs> Remember we showed everybody your little brown eye? Yeah. Uh, Tari, how could you? He was like, it was easy. <laughs> it was easy it's, to do. <laughs> it's status quo. I'm always showing everybody my brown eye. <laughs> it's difficult not to see it when you're behind me. <laughs> Okay, let's not mess up this time. I need to... No, down. No. Yeah. Uh-oh. No, no, it's fine. No, it's, it's fine. It's, it's fine. fine. Yeah, it's perfectly fine. And then here. And then here. And then here. Uh... Oh, no! Here. Then I already have a position, so he goes over one. And then I need to go to the left. Then left. Uh, I don't trust that one there, so I'm going to move it. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs to go right. Then right. And then he needs to come out here. Um, and then right. Right. Left. Right. Left. Crossbow is explaining what it is. Okay. Good. So I need him to go left, left, and then right. So there, 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 there. Not right. He needs to go left, left. Mm -hmm. And then right. And then he needs to go right again. Uh oh. Oh, oh, I could have moved that up. Yep. The bad thing about this game, he starts from the top, the very top again, uh, until you get him into the pit. Well, how else could it happen? I know. He literally exploded and <laughs> and uh, it's frustrating. And spread radioactive. It's true. Rock, it's... Hip kryptonite all over the place. It's I don't true. know why kryptonite makes him explode. Perhaps he's from Krypton. Yeah, his robots from Krypton. So it's a little frustrating, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, okay. Up. Up. There you are. And go down. Then you get a new set of magnets for the next part. Or are they the same magnets? Ah, I almost did that again. Okay. Set you up there. I think the... I don't know. The, uh, the movement is... I don't know about it. It's... it. I press it and it sometimes Your doesn't go. Your battery goes down while you're thinking. Oh, okay. Yeah, that happened to me. I died due to battery loss. <laughs> That's not good. I didn't make it to my proper death. I died just like in the middle of the road. What happens? Just the robot just sits there and you just go... Bleh. The game ends. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so why is the music off? There is no music? I don't know. Is there no music? I don't think... No, the music's not... There is no music. I don't think there is music. Let me just test it on an emulator here. Make sure I'm not going crazy. Oh, but I have to play. I'll do it after. <laughs> now that needs to move out of the way. Or I'm going to be in trouble. Ah, pit of, pit Whoa, of lava. Yay, straight down. Are. Yes, Yay. next planet. The music jams. Oh, what the hell's going on there? Wait, do you mean the music is like 
awesome. Yeah. It does have sound. I've heard the sound when I'm playing for a bit last night. Hmm. Is it a switch? I have it unmuted. The video game is unmuted. No, it's no switch. I'm not sure what's going on with the music. Uh, hmm. We can play with it after this game. Because I do want to hear the music. Oh, is that the wrong way? Um, yeah. But <laughs> you can recover if How? you're clever with your magnets. When he's falling, you need to pull that one. You need to, like, preemptively put it there. Like there? Yeah. Yeah. Will it pull it in midair? We're going to find out. Nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Game over. Okay. I don't know what you were supposed to do to recover. Here, you should have, there really just should have been a thing there to kill you at that spot. Yeah, it's like you got to kill yourself. Uh -huh. No, we're gonna we're gonna figure out the music issue here. So I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. No music. Let's load up another game. Make sure everything's fine. Music. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. I was going to say, like, we would have noticed no music previously. Yeah, I was just thinking if it was something that just happened. Bad build? Yeah. What's going on? Let me check out which build I have. This is the newest one. Uh, this is the one he gave me specifically for the show. So I'm going to load a different one. I'm going to load the one that everybody else has. <clears throat> so, but, because I do want to hear the music. So we will flip to full screen Darcy. There we go. <laughs> you said full screen Darcy. Ah, it's all Darcy all the time. <laughs> so, did you get any of the crazy wind tornado at your place? They call it a bomb or something. Yeah. Like, did you see the see it on the a video of the tornado? No. Okay, it was an actual tornado here. Oh. On the weekend. No, I didn't see any video of tornadoes. It went through UBC and wow. like like destroyed things. Wow. Trees and cars. Yeah. Hmm. And I, like there's never tornadoes here in BC. Was it so it was a tornado, not a hurricane? An actual they were debating whether it was a tornado or not, and they declared it an actual tornado. Which, you know, to us laymen it's like, yeah, that's a tornado. But they have they have strict definitions, right? Yeah. It was a tornado in Barrie, Ontario when I lived there. Yeah? yeah. How close to you? Well, it? like, it destroyed the house beside friends of ours, but it didn't hit our neighborhood. Okay. <laughs> this is the thing that they said, it, that he said it might happen <laughs> on some machines. It copies, like, the brightest colored t-shirt in the room. <laughs> yes. It's a yellow. So that's why he gave me the other build. Hmm. So, neither of them work. Sorry, why does this happen to you but not other people? The yellow or the non-music, or both? The yellow. Um, he just said some some systems it goes yellow. Ah. So I actually deleted the other one off this, so <laughs> I have to put the other one back on and we will enjoy no music. So, it is a work in progress, and that's what happens with works in progress. Robots rumble. Yeah, the yeah, it's ancient history. It doesn't matter. Oh, I have a message. Nope. 
Nothing to do with it. <laughs> I thought, oh, he's sending me a new belt. But he didn't. He didn't send me a new belt. But it's good uh, troubleshooting for him to go, hey, the system has no music. Okay. Turn it back on. <laughs> Everybody can sing to themselves in their head. <laughs> okay, my turn. Carol says the music is good. <laughs> Doug just doesn't fully have my trust yet. Let's let's just listen to the music through emulation. Um, maybe I can play it in the background if it's like a loop. Actually, the emulation of pokey music on the browser version is pretty poor. I can't hear it. Maybe I have to start. I think it's a local um, problem. Like there's the, the local uh, background noise in Vancouver and it just it's exactly the opposite of the sound <laughs> from the game and so you can't hear it in Vancouver. There's no music. Oh, this is the one. Oh, this is the test build. That might be an issue. I hear something. <laughs> that worked. Pretty great. Make sure you set it to two joysticks. Yes. <laughs> Try and pass this. Get to the second level again. Without losing lives. No! No! <laughs> <laughs> can you guys hear the music? I'm guessing you can. Not everybody does. Nope, not everyone, apparently. No. Okay. And get that out of the way. Has <laughs> fooled me once. And into the pit with you. Into Safely destroyed in a, the pit of lava. Yeah. And all planets have a near... There's always a pit of lava below the robots. Oh, wherever the yeah. robot is. There's always... I mean, they probably build <laughs> this facility, this complex, convoluted the facility. The first thing they build is a pit of lava. <laughs> <laughs> they transport it. Okay, we're not going down the left. Yeah. Because that's... Careful. Careful, yeah. no! Go! Ah! ah! <laughs> oh my god, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> The colors definitely have a ZX Spectrum. No. It's left. I know, left. I know. Careful. Just bringing it down. Don't Getting bring it ready. down. Getting it's it ready. Wrong. Ah, what's happening? Watch ah. Over the sentries. Ah. Okay. The new the new uh, difficulty factor in this game is that uh, it puts the magnets in places that are inconvenient. Yes. <laughs> yes. It does. Okay. I do want to go there. And this will be a timing thing. Go, go, go. Go, go, gadget, <sighs> robo. Oh, okay. put your left magnet up higher. 
can't. That's the limit. But I can put him down. Yeah. Which he needs to be anyway. Yeah. Can he just go straight across? No, he can't. He can't. Running out of batteries. Is this the pit? No, it's not the pit yet. Oh, they, look at this. They position mm -hmm. it so you can no. be tricked. But don't be tricked. Don't be tricked. Come on. Yeah, I need to go left immediately, yeah. right? That, those aren't walls. That's left. Yeah, that's, see, he's going through it. And oh. you've gone through those before. Quick, oh. quick, quick! You're running out of batteries! Oh my god! I am. Oh. Ah. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay. Robots are dying over there. <laughs> oh, oh, boy. Those kill you, I'm you guessing. Want, yeah, I don't think you want any of that. Okay. Oh, it's just lava. There we go. It's only lava. It's all just Don't jump. be careful around the lava. <laughs> lava disposal is the only safe method. It is. On these planets, like the kryptonite just doesn't do it. Yeah, no. The, yeah, that's actually it. Like the lava is the only safe method. If you do the kryptonite, you explode. Whoa. And and, and not only do you not uh, get disassembled, uh, but you... Where do I go? In the right place, but... Uh, huh? What? Where do I go? I can't go to the right of that thing, and I can't go there, and I can't go left. You can. You go. You go to the right. You go up. Yes. And then that is a block that you push down. Oh. Uh, and then yeah. you get across there. Right. Uh huh. Smart Darcy. I'm smart. I really am. Okay. Up. Wait! 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 Stop! Stop! Okay. Yeah. Whew. Sorry, I just, I'm just <laughs> nervous. As you should be, because there are dangers. Very real dangers. Yes. Now, does this guy need to go right? He does immediately. Okay. Ooh, I need to time this. Oh my God! I see, the, I think the joystick needs refining, or this joystick is causing a problem. Okay. This is one where the eight way and having to the side airing on the side of up or down. <laughs> and which way do I go? Right, probably, because I have to push that thing. So yeah, that's what I think. Let's go down. Although it doesn't seem like it should matter. I mean, yeah, you're gonna push it, but yeah. Oh, yeah. I think there is just one hole that. Yeah, oh, I'm gonna die. Where's no, no. batteries? Go to the right. There's no batteries here. You have to finish this level. <laughs> Super fast and quick. I guess I have to go up. Yeah. Ah, no! No! No, now you have to start over! Oh, no! You got any more quarters? <laughs> I got two more quarters. So there's two more robots here. Uh... <laughs> yeah, bad luck. That's, that's, that that's is a, a nice weird, way of saying that it. That is a weird, you died. Message. <laughs> bad, luck. bad luck. Especially when I'm like, no, is that I'm stupid. It's not, <laughs> not luck has it was, nothing to do with it. There was no it. luck at nothing. Yeah, it was just I'm dumb and uh <laughs> You just gotta race through this solved. a bit more. Yeah. Oh. Let's sound let's out. jabbering. Sound ran out. <laughs> you just need more luck, not less stupid. <laughs> 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 More luck needed. <laughs> Can I make it? Yeah. Nobody knows. Nobody knows. Okay. I don't think you're supposed to fall down the right hand side in that pit. Actually, you can't. Y okay. Yeah, no, you're not. Uh, I need to go down and then left and then up here. Yeah. Yeah. So let's get you going, little robot. Oh, not too much. <laughs> uh, and then, then you get all the way back up, up and then you go down to the right. Down, right, and then right, and then, and then left, left, and then left again. Okay. A bomb. Okay. Uh, uh, I have to go over that bomb. Yep. So let's push the bomb. Into oh, the onto the sentry. Ah, yeah, baby. How do I get yeah, that? Yeah, baby, yeah. Ah. Okay. Let's get this. Oh. Yeah. Yeah! Yes. That's what you gotta do. It's the way you do it. 
Oh, uh, you what? may have bombed the wrong... No, no. You go down, you get lifted up, and then you fall down after oh, the other side. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, so let's do that. Nope! God. Get up there. Okay. Fall down. Go! Go! No! Not yet! No! No! <laughs> oh, yeah. bad luck. Yeah! 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 <laughs> One guy left. <laughs> that was a very amusing. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what I was supposed to know and uh, some other word combined. <laughs> <laughs> oh, robot died over there. <laughs> no, not that way. Come on, robot. Just do it. Just do it better. Get good. Uh, I could have gone. Could have, but you got all that battery power. I mean, what are you saving it for, right? <laughs> Not dying. Uh, up. So you're left. Oh, dude, not oh, left. Oh, yeah, not left. James, why did uh, you go? <laughs> why did you go left? It does look feasible for the 2600. I have already thought that before when I first saw this. It's it like, totally feasible for 2600, yeah. Um, it, you might and you could, use a, you could use a two Ooh. of the things Ooh. up and down. Ooh. Yeah, one for up and one, one for the right and one for the left. You could. What do you mean could? Like they're perfect for it. Well, you don't have the precision of you the joystick. You just need to know that you turned No, I'd rather way. not. I'd rather not. I think a joystick would be better. That. It would change it because it would could be zoom fast, right? It, it would be yeah, because it's location. Um, it, you could use a driving controller, which is it's kind of like a joystick, um, and it spins forever, so that might work. Or um, you could just use two joysticks, like like works. like the platforms. Platforms are fine on the twenty six hundred. Mm -hmm. Those little green things, you could just make a green block, and sure, if it yeah. falls on the green block, dead. Um, as, or as play field. Uh, all the robots are easy. Your robots are easy. The magnets are going to have to flash when they're on the same line. But that's not a big deal. Yeah. That's just information. Yep. The goal is to kill the robot. How come he's bad when he dies on the way? Because uh, the green stuff pollutes the air. One joystick would totally do and having the fire button, but it's better to have two. Because that, that is what how this works if you want with one joystick, yeah. is, is pressing the button to flip. Yeah. So let's take a look at the other modes. I don't know if beginner um, pro changes. It's the, you have less battery, like it oh. appears quicker. I think he moves, oh, he moves faster, which, Helps kind he of. Faster? Oh yeah. Yeah, he moves faster. Not much faster, but it's it's a little faster. See, he's a little sluggish. <laughs> and then the speed run. You've got a timer in the bottom. Oh, I see. It's assumed that you will. Eat the I guess it adds up the levels. It's like when you're doing a speed run, the, the uh, battery doesn't play any part because uh, you're oh, not yes. doing a speed run if you can't get it completed <laughs> and getting the battery. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> you're not at the level to compete at speed runs. But does oh, it. Oh. Oh, oh no, see I'm not at that level. <laughs> oh, game over. Because if you're doing a speed run, you shouldn't be dying. Ah, that's right. Mm. I want to see if it stops the clock at like the level, and then it adds it to your next level, or is it a per level speed run kind of deal? Oh, the time continues on the next level. Oh, like uh, next world, sorry. Oh, I see. You have to um, you have to get to the next world for that to work. True. Let's see if I can do that <laughs> on one oh, on 
one uh, flank. <laughs> oh, what? Is there is there worlds? Is this a different game? This oh, seems this like very same. long. This is the same. Is it these the first are all, level? These are these are maps you've done. Okay. <gasps> no. Why you do it wrong? Why do wrong when you can do right? Oh, maybe the pit of lavas. No, look. No. This is different. What? I. I this the this first level familiar. was not this long. Yeah. Was it? I think so. Hmm. Two bratwurst work really well for a twin st uh, stick setup without any coupling. Yeah, they fit together pretty nicely because they're flat on the sides. What you need, crossbow, is you get a piece of wood that's like two bratwurst wide, and then you <laughs> open the bratwurst and you drill it into the wood, but use screws that don't like, it's okay if they stick out the bottom of it, but you don't want them stick out so much that it that you can't stand the pain of the screws in your legs. <laughs> and then the, that holds them, and then you put them back together. So yeah, if you had a something to put them on, they'd be totally fine for two joysticks, like even like Robotron or anything like that. It's good with one stick. It is. Um, yeah, it does feel industrial, like you're moving a tank or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> tank controls. Are there special Bratwurst screws? <laughs> I don't know. They're all covered up. They must be special. You can't even look at them. <laughs> you can always cut it open and then just sort of use elastic bands or glue to put it back together. Yeah. So there's always options. Always, always options. Robots Rumble, super awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, very challenging. Yeah, yeah. Um, but a great puzzle game. Um, we'll definitely be playing it again in the future as it progresses so we can get better at it. <laughs> and hear the music. And hear the music. And hear the music. Yeah, it's just not working. But he he does have special builds for the dragonfly and the concerto because of differences in the way right, they right. pick up. Because the concerto looks at different addresses for where the music's supposed to be. Bobby Clark didn't get to show off his stuff. Uh, I played in the background. I was just yeah. making a joke. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I was diffusing your joke. My dumb, my jokes are dumb. Everybody <laughs> knows that. You don't need to like re-announce that the jokes are dumb. <laughs> Your jokes are dumb. Your jokes are bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> so I'll be putting this in later today in anticipation for the interview on Tuesday. Don't lick it. <laughs> you know, you're tempted. <laughs> um, it's very pretty. It is. It's very it's nice. The board's like gold and dark. Black and, and yeah. So Thanks for hanging out. We had three awesome, great games today. We had 2048, a great puzzler, Pango action arcade game. We had Robots Rumble, kind of a uh, puzzly game as well. Were you playing the video the whole time too? <laughs> uh, no, it doesn't. It doesn't play it if you're. Oh, okay. Lost. Yep. Um. And. We have some amazing shows coming up. If you didn't join us at the beginning, if you weren't here at the beginning, uh, let's take a look at them. Next episode, we have an interview, which is why I bought this card so that we don't get <coughs> throughout the interview because it's terrible. Uh, we're going to be interviewing uh, Eric Anschwitz, Robert Anschwitz, and John Weisgerber, some programmers from the 80s who actually got their games published in uh some magazines you know where you type things yeah, in yeah. and you, they put them on disc and all that kind of stuff yep. yeah you got that their games published and now they're redoing their games that they made in the 80s and basic in uh machine language for the atari 8-bit system so we have a couple world premieres for that and we're going to play through some of their games as well while talking with them finding out about how the scene was back then and how they got into the magazines etc etc and I believe one of them is a main developer as well, which is the multi-arcade machine emulator where you can play arcade games on your PC. Uh, then we go on break for a bit so I can deal with real life things and uh, make the show better too. It's just like <laughs> a little over a week. Yeah. Uh, well, that's Tuesday, Friday, Tuesday, Friday. Or is it? That's well, a 23, 23 so, to 30 is 7. Right. So it's a, just 10 days. -ish. Technically. Like 11 days. I'm off on the 17th and then back on the 3rd. So oh, I see. Yeah. 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 
Uh, and yeah, then we have the a massive, massive show on December third. We're gonna be have the world debut of Attack of the Pesky Petsky Robots. You know what <laughs> Attack of the Pes Pesky, Pesky Robots. Robots. <laughs> you remember what Petsky is? Uh, on the Commodore, it was all those symbols that oh, you could make. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I didn't so, know. So this yeah. game was made originally on the pet on the Commodore. Oh, we're gonna look that up too. We will right after this. It's made with all symbols to draw on the screen and make the game so it's like full screen full of characters um <laughs> carl g says i recommend avoiding real life yes. yeah if i could stream all day it'd be awesome yeah unfortunately avoiding real life just makes real life worse it just piles up yeah, and, just and people knock on your door demanding money for yeah. services that you've used like the internet and water and yeah. electricity <laughs> Um, we also have two exclusive secret world premieres on December 3rd. They will blow your mind. I guarantee it. I guarantee they'll blow your mind. So be here. And we're interviewing MK Smith on that day as well to talk about Attack of the Petsky Robots and his exclusive secret world premieres. Um, and two days out, two shows after that, we have the Zero Page Homebrew, The Game release so we're releasing the binary and the instructions and also we will be doing a giveaway of five physical copies of them that will be signed and given away um and then the show after that we have um a typed interview uh from leandra camara we're going to be playing zark stars one through three with an exclusive world premiere of Zark Stars 2. And then a couple shows after that, we have the Holiday Homebrew Special, where we put on Santa hats and snowfalls. And you know the drill. We play some holiday games, including Christmas Salvo, Junior Pac-Man Snow Day, and a bunch of other snow-related games. Um, fell down a pet ski rabbit hole of my own after learning about the game. There was another Commodore 64 game that was released recently where it's a one-on-one -on -one fighter and they're both like giant monsters like um, Godzilla and King Kong. Right, right. And they're all done with ASCII or Petski. And it's unbelievable. Like they draw full screen characters like punching each other. It's just mind blowing. And they're all colored nicely. You know, when you, know, you used to do programs on the Commodore 64 and you'd use all the symbols to yeah, do things. Yeah. yeah. So it's like that. Um, so let's take a look at what that Commodore Plus 4 is, because I'm not sure what that is. Not plus 3. Come on, enter. So it is... Let's make that a little smaller. Home computer, released in 1984, so around the same-ish time as the Commodore 64 era. Plus four refers to the four application ROM office suite. It had a built-in word processor, spreadsheet, database, and graphing. So it was obviously geared towards the. I think somebody said it was like the off, like business friendly or something. Oh, that's kind of cool. Obviously, they couldn't be upgraded, so they better not have any bugs if they're built into the ROM. <laughs> Internally, it shared the same basic architecture uh, as lower end Co Commodore sixteen and the one sixteen models. Huh. Not very familiar with the Commodore sixteen either. Yeah, no. Like, what is the difference between the Vic? I was just gonna 20, say, like, which they had, had Commodore 16. sixteen and a Vic twenty. <laughs> like, this is this is I've never heard of Commodore sixteen. Seems like a either. waste of resources to make two lines. I mean, it looks awesome. Like, look at that shell. Oh, it's the same as the Commodore. Yep. Go back for a sec. It says uh, intended to be an entry level computer to replace the Vic twenty. Oh, so it came a out cost reduced version. Oh, so how is it replacing the Vic twenty with the, the Vic, same didn't stuff? The, but didn't the Vic twenty have twenty? Or is uh, just name something else? Plus it was four, I think it had like a uh, sixteen, or it had yeah, twelve, sixteen and four. Uh, albeit with less RAM, sixteen rather than sixty-four. It's a failure. <laughs> Enjoyed some success in Europe. Yeah? Europe. Vic 20 had 5k RAM. Why'd they name it the Vic 20? Oh, okay, 5k. So the the Commodore 16 had 16. So Vic 20 was very limited. 
Yeah. I didn't have one. I just had a 64. And Very, I think I knew one person with a... I knew somebody who had a Vic 20, 20? Jeff yeah. in Ontario. Okay. He had one, but... Uh, yep, I only have a stock Vic 20, hence why I didn't buy the game until the 8-bit port was released. He's talking about the attack of the Petski robots. So, uh, cool. So it was kind of a precursor to the Commodore 64, but on par with... When the did the Commodore 64 come out? Uh, 84? Because that's when this came out, was in 84. Oh, let's spell it right. A little fit. 82. 82? It must have been more... It's like the Commodore 64 <laughs> came out, and they were like, well, we need something cheaper. Let's make the VIC-20. Well, when did it's the true. VIC-20 come out? Okay, look up the VIC-20. <laughs> oh, there's link right oh. there. VIC-20. Uh, good. 80, so two 80. years before. Mm. Carl and G's, then they were like, well... Carl G's bored of our Commodore talk. <laughs> Bye, Carl G. <laughs> um... <laughs> interesting okay that's enough we know about that uh, so thanks for hanging out with us everyone to, on um, Tuesday interview day 8-bit games we'll have some uh, exclusive world debuts Commodore's good too yes it is um, so thanks for hanging out with us Vitoco 1600 US dollars that's when it came out where did it say that? Oh my god. Oh, equivalent. Oh, okay. It was yeah. $600. Yeah, I got it for. I can it was less. easily believe that it was like oh. $600. Over. I, I actually was like for $1,600. I mean, uh, that's a lot. That Like, that was a lot. Yeah. But I remember my dad, when he bought like an IBM clone for his business, it was like $4,000 or something. Yeah. And my god, like. I had a seven thousand dollar laptop at one point. Jesus Christ! Yeah, it was crazy. I would, it was I've never very spent seven thousand. I've never spent seven thousand dollars on a and on like one those, system ever. In Even those now. dollars, okay. in nineteen ninety three or four dollars, ninety nine two or three. Um, because were laptops just all expensive at the time? They were. Yeah. They were very expensive, and it was very advanced laptop. Um, yeah, it had a VIC-2 chip, uh, which was, oh no, so that was after the VIC chip. Yeah, VIC-20 chip, so there we go. Um, so thanks for hanging out. Crossbow, thank you for sending this upgrade for my 7800 so we can all enjoy the beautiful output that will come later when I put this in. On my break, I'll do this, on the two-week break. I have a list of things that long now. To do. Uh, S. Ramirez, Splendid Nut, uh, Vitoko, Mike Soul, Carl G., Daryl, 1970, um, Thrust, who else? Metal Lunar, S. Ramirez, I probably said, Muddy Funster, thank you for all your awesome games, uh, Andy Cat, Azure, lots of chatters today. Dan AVC, Smitty B7800, Alnifer, uh, Feline Frequencies, great name. Um, I think that's it. So thanks for tuning in. Should I find a, we've got a, a number of people. Should I find a place for uh, everyone to go after? Let's see if there's any cool people broadcasting right now. Anything that's retro in terms of Atari. There never is. It's all NES. 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 What's that? That's Tess. NES. Uh, that's NES as well. Uh -huh. Generic stuff. Nope. Nobody's playing Atari stuff. I'm the only one. Yeah, so you get nothing. I'm not going to send you all to anybody else. <laughs> only oh, there, look. What? There's one playing Atari. Where, where, where? Yeah, right, bottom right. Oh, that's, <laughs> that's <one>. us. <laughs> <laughs> and you can't even... You know, what a joker. <laughs> well, it was, I was like, I couldn't see anything. It was literally true. It, it is literally true. Yeah. No, there's no Atari. So sad. Old-timey computer show is fun. 
Yeah, they're not broadcasting right now. I would send you to like Phaser Cat Games or some other stuff. I don't know. So thanks for hanging out with us. It was a blast. Awesome games. All couch compliant. Certified. You can put it on your box. <laughs> eight bits, Atari eight bits is the future. You can do anything. Once we get that keyboard add on, we're flying. Yeah. Now yeah. full OS on the twenty six hundred and seventy eight hundred. You know, dragging windows around the screen. Yeah. Add a mouse to that. Keyboard in port one. Mouse in port two. You're done. Yep. Yeah. And like, what? What <laughs> couldn't you do then? Yep. Yeah. You can, uh, and then you can save your documents to. Uh, Actually, you can send them to your computer using the Plus Card. Oh, but that means you need a You computer. can email on the Plus Card. <laughs> that would be amazing. What? I guess I missed that part. Yep, people are uh, devising how to make a keyboard for the Commodore, not the Commodore, for the Atari 2600 and 7800. And it is possible. And you can plug in just a USB, normal USB keyboard. All you yep. need is a Raspberry Pi. Yep. But somebody needs to make it. I've already, I've already mapped it out. I've planned it out completely. It. And, and program it. But it... It would be really easy, yeah. like really easy. Raspberry Pi says, oh, you typed an A, which it already knows how to do. I don't think Raspberry Pi comments like the must be on a millionaire. <laughs> and then it just goes, -de 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 -de, sends the signal to the Atari 2600 and goes, I got an A, put an A on the screen, done. You can do that with the R77 already. Mm, true, but the, can the R77 take a plus card? I don't think so. And it has no internet capability on the R77. Oh yeah, you have to update it by yeah. SD card, right? Yeah, yeah, but that's cheating. Yeah, the R seventy seven is not a real. No, it's an emulator that runs Stella. Yeah. Anyway, enough blabbing. Uh, thanks for hanging out, everyone. Make sure you tune in on Tuesday for our next show. And uh, Darcy will be back again in a, a, a long time, unfortunately. Yeah. Because we're taking a break. But that's okay. He'll be back eventually eventually yeah one day one day so we'll see you then bye bye